Hello, hello. I hope y'all can hear me. My son keeps running off with my microphone, and I don't know if he turns it down or what he does. So I just have to wait until y'all say something. <laughs> hey, American honey. Hey, nothing compares. Sandy, Classy Cole, Miss Canada. How's it all going? Hey, Sandy, my girl, coming in $2 super sticker. Thank you. Thank you, Sandy. I appreciate you. Thank you, guys. Ah. <laughs> so here we are again. I got notifications keep popping up. I'm gonna take it that all of y'all are not had are not over there watching the Jim Terry Crab Leg Show. Thank you. So, I don't know, guys. Um, things are starting to get really weird. You know, I come on a lot by myself anymore, seems like. And ah, yeah, nothing compares. Great start to your weekend. That's good. Yeah, my birthday will be tomorrow. So, damn, I'm inching closer and closer to 60. <laughs> Yeah, American honey. I, I only reason I did because I heard he supposedly talked to another family member of mine. So I was gonna see if he was gonna throw it out there. I'm kind of curious, but not because what he don't know is I can't wait for him to bring it out because that's gonna take him down, and I don't care. Um, I'll go down in real life and watch, but he's not getting by with this shit with me no more. So bring it, Jim. Bring it. He wants, um, you know, he likes to keep messing with people. He, you know, he's over there just really running Kaylee down, you know, calling her ugly. And, you know, this is a grown man. For some reason, nobody can seem to get his ass knocked out of here. Somebody tell me why. You know, somebody got to explain to me because apparently I don't understand. <laughs> I haven't been on here long enough. You know, yeah, twin mama is. Some people said yesterday they like the sassy move, but sassy's gonna go a little bit further. And I'm gonna be mad. I just, you know, it's been enough. Enough is enough. And Jim, I know you're gonna watch and listen. Let me tell you this bring somebody on from my family and talk about me. I will go after your aunt, your aunt and uncle. Your mom, they will not be off limits anymore. I've never been about going after women or going after anybody's family, but you do this one more time and watch. Because once it's done, there's nothing you can do about it. Once it's done, JT, there ain't nothing you can do about it to stop it because it'll be done. I ain't playing. So... Whoever you're talking to, I hope they told you just how damn crazy I am. So there's that. Hi, J.D. Jenny. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I, I'm just so done with that fool. I mean, how is he on here? How is he on here? Why don't he go to his OTT platform and stay? He has been ban banned from YouTube. He's been banned from it. But I'll tell you something, though, that did make me laugh. And I, trust me, I'm not in a laughing mood. <laughs> is um, BJ's sister-in-law, Ashley, came in there and dumped a whole bowl of compost trash that had been sitting for a while all over her head and body. All over her. It had eggs in it, eggshells in it. It had carrot puree in it. It was gross. Yeah. Jim didn't like it. But um, BJ just kind of laughed it off. But I'm pretty sure she's mad. Yeah. I can't wait because I know Betty done been there, seen that, and clipped it. It's going to be. It's going to be the bomb. 
Yes, Andy, she dumped it on top of BJ's head. And then when she stands up, there's like eggshells hanging on her off of her ass where it went down her back. <laughs> it was gross. And she was gagging because it stunk so bad. It was compost. Y'all know what compost, you know, it's rotted food with eggshells. Now that was entertainment. <laughs> that was entertainment. <laughs> Yeah, I have to give it to BJ. She laughed it off, but <laughs> oh, my God. I, oh, that would have been bad. Bad, bad, bad. Yep. Yeah. It's all over them dreads. She kept saying it's not in her dreads, but it's in her dreads. I guarantee if it had eggs and rotten stuff in there, it got in them dreads. No doubt. Oh, my word. So, y'all might not see much of me anymore. Like I say, I have been getting very irritated. Um, and that's what Jim Terry wants. But you know what? When I'm not on here, he won't know where I'm at. Yeah, J.D. Jenny, can you imagine? Phew. God, <laughs> I can't imagine. Right, Miss Canada, and she would eat the shit out of his hands, just like he says, you know. But she didn't see that coming, y'all. She didn't. That was that was not planned, and they can say it was all they want. It was not planned. That girl just walked over and dumped it on top of her head. <laughs> yeah, I got you. Well, you know, American honey, it just um. And remember, I'm British. <laughs> I wish I was British right now. But, you know, it, it gets to be too much after a while. You know what I mean? You know, it starts affecting my family a lot because then it makes me mad. And then I'm mad here at home. And, you know, it, it's not worth it anymore. You know, people don't want to stand up to him. They like to, you know, crap about him the way he does other people. But then nobody wants to stand up. You know, so, you know, after a while, like I say, it starts eating on you, you know, because I'm a good person. He's just doing any, everything and anything he can to make me out to be a bad person, you know. And and he's, they even went one step farther a while ago as to, um, y'all know that girl that has the dreads, a real pretty girl. Um, what the hell is her name? I don't forgot now. Um, she was in prison and. Um, she got out anyway. She's blonde. And she does a show kind of like Annie Elise. You know, she just does the, um, I guess that's a, called a, a blog or something. They even brought her picture over there and was showing, showing her before and after pictures and showing what her husband looked like. And this gal don't even know it, that the rubber they're doing that, you know. How can you just keep, how can you keep doing that to people? You like who? Um, the girl I'm talking about, JG. <laughs> Can you think of her dang name? Uh, Christina Randall. Yeah, I, I like her too. I, I used to watch her a lot. Um, yeah, Christine Randall. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they're over there showing pictures of her. And, um, you know, and, and BJ said that she really looks up to Christine because Christine reminds her of her. That um, she, you know, they look the same, but we don't have the same body and, and stuff like that. You don't have the same nothing. You don't compare to that girl at all. Yeah, I, I really like her, yeah. And she kind of just tells it like it is. And uh, So, Buster, are you here anywhere? Crystal Ann, are you here anywhere? Leanne, where are you? Leanne may be on her day bill case. I don't know. Yeah, she is pretty classy. Nope, not even close. <laughs> that girl is beautiful. 
you know, and she took her, you know, bad part of her life, and, you know, and she turned it around. Elvira. <laughs> But yeah, like I say, it's just, you know, it's getting, it's so out of hand. It's not getting, it's been out of hand. I mean, they're just trashing, trashing Kaylee, you know. And they they talk about us trashing a BJ about her looks. They do the exact same thing, you know, the exact same thing. But yeah, I watch Christina and up. I'll drop her an email today and let her know. Hey, fast, Daddy. Yep, Team Swampy. <laughs> yes, American Honey. That's right, Sandy. But you know. He, he's got the, I guess, the gift of gab, as you would say it, and, and just like he said on there a couple of times now, that people that left are calling and wanting to come back. I seen Tony Adobe over there. He's, or has he always been there? I thought he was over here. Um, you know, getting on the robo call and back into the OTT and so, you know, they worry about. Me and making it no tomorrow's my birthday, Miss Canada. <laughs> right, whatever. <laughs> yeah, and at one point the chat wasn't even moving. I wrote down every name that they had in there, you know. Took them forever to get to a hundred. But the ones that that I counted and wrote down, I don't even know how many that ended up being. Twenty-two people. So the rest of that eighty from that hundred were people that come from over here and used to be Bob's. You know, that's BJ's. Um, BJ TV. Yeah, whatever. I hope you go hard on them this time because. Uh. <laughs> yeah, Sandy, I'm right there with you. That's why I say I quit watching it. And then, you know, people would tell me about it. And I think, ah, oh, you know. And um, so I just tried to stay out of it. And But I went over there to look this morning to see um, who this person is of my family, the new family member that. I don't know if he said something about a fire or something. firing some firing getting on fire or whatever. I don't know what he's talking about, but that ought to, that ought to be good. But it's going to be so good that I will and his sister too. His sister is already in the pot, just waiting for her name to be pulled out. You know, so and I didn't really want, I don't want to mess with any of them, but. He, he's leaving me no choice. He has left me no choice. And if it, like I say, if it comes down to me losing the channel over it, he can laugh all he wants, you know. But the deed will be done. You know, him calling over here, you know, calling over here trying to talk to Leanne and shit. I don't want him calling. I mean, she can talk to him, you know, just, you know, get off the air. I don't even want to hear his voice. I can't stand hearing his voice. I can't stand it. Thank you, JD. But you know, when it's every time I go to come on, and you know, and I'm so sick, sick to my stomach because you know of everything that's going on around, and watching like Lacey, you know, getting trashed like she's getting trashed. We're all just mamas out here trying to make it through this shitty ass world. We don't need any more Jim Terry's here. We don't need any more. He's done. He needs to grow his ass up, take responsibility, get a job, 
because he relies totally on the money he gets from YouTube. That's why he can't stay over on, you, on OTT. He don't have enough people there. He damn sure don't have 500 or whatever it is he says he has. Because if he did, he wouldn't be on YouTube. That's simple as that. Anybody can figure that out. Not a, Doesn't take a rocket scientist. Or somebody that can push a uh, calculator button. I mean, three um, numbers in a while ago, she um, fat fingered the wrong number and it messed it all up. No, there's no way he has 500. He only know 500 people. You know? So, yes, he is the nastiest human being in this world. I can't, I, his mother and him not proud. That's why they, they shipped him off. You know, years ago, they shipped him off. He went to live with an aunt. And he said it was because it was a good college. That wasn't a good, um, or a good high school. It was not a good school. I've checked those schools out up there. They weren't 10 out of 10. More like two out of ten, so they weren't good schools. Yeah, Mark is just as bad. And I think the only one decent out of them is their sister. That's why I didn't want to say anything to her, but they pushed my hand. And that'll be the first one. You know, like I say, he... He counts on, you know, coming on to YouTube for the money. That's why he got so mad at me is because when everybody came over here, I made a little bit of money and he, well, he only, he said I only made like a dollar 59, but then Bob said I was making 300 a show. So, I mean, I don't know where they're getting their um, math from, but they're not mathing very good. You can tell the both of them, I don't even know if they graduated high school. Maybe a year or two later, but, you know, and I try, to, I don't want to talk bad about anybody, but you know what? I don't even give a shit about them two or them three or four, however many they've got up in their little gang now. Yeah, he's a disgusting narcissist, and the only way to stop a narcissist is to give them the silent treatment, but that takes more than one person to do it. It takes many because if he don't hear me saying anything, then he's going to move to the next one. Same old stuff, racing stars. You know, he he's, thinks he's God. He absolutely does. And the way this world is going right now, he really better start like, getting repentance. Because <laughs> playing like your God's not going to go well. But yeah, absolute no contact. That's just like we used to tell um, domestic violence victims, no contact. But Or change your phone numbers and stuff like that. He don't call me because he knows. I have the police involved in this. The police listen in and video. They got the video and everything from him making contact with my aunts. This will be number two. Same officer is coming back over to listen to it. Just waiting for him to give me a time and date. But if, if, but if the rest of the people doesn't, you know, keep their distance from AJ, it, it doesn't help. I mean, it's got to be a, a concerted effort with everybody. Everybody's got to, you know, take that same stand. You know, he had bounced, I don't know how many places he bounced all over yesterday and the day before, you know, trying to give out information. You know about Dylan Rounds? God dang, dude, you're the one that screwed up the Dylan Rounds case. And then he came out talking about the mom, you know, and he made a lot of people. He made, Yeah, he went back over the other night, Racing Star. He was on the show with them. Um, and then, of course, you know, JT is saying that it's us that caused Bob to leave. Well, I don't give a shit, you know. I don't give a shit about him either. I'm sorry, I really cared for Bob, but he, oh no. You know, when he, he started talking to me like he was Jim Terry, no, I'm done with that shit. He is one of them. It's, 
Oh. <sighs> Yeah, and it's not even a lonely people. It's other people like him, you know, and and people that have been in bad relationships, bad situations, things like that. That's how he got to those mothers that had missing children. He played on their sympathies. He played on their loss to reel them in, and that's exactly what he has done to everybody here that's ever been on his show. That's what he did to everybody. You know, he's saying, um, you know, that Leanne, him and Leanne talks all the time and that she's won't back over, which I don't believe that. Um, but things like that, you know, he's made sure that I don't have a co-host. Same thing he did with Kenny. Same thing he did. He, him and Kathy and Axel then were all the cause of that shit with me and Leanne. Um, oh, my God, Miss Canada. Yeah, I mean, and he's over there. Even just in regular conversation, he had to bring up Tron. Tron ain't done nothing to that man. Tron can't help the way he is. You know? Nobody, hey, Roddy, nobody can help the way their children are born. I mean, they're acting like we've done something, you know, that I can only imagine when he has legitimate children, you know, because if they act like him, how's he going to be able to raise them? And they go to all these things that, Comic Con, isn't that for kids mostly? 24 and under, I think is what I read. Mostly teenagers. And those people that like to um, um think they're cats and dogs and stuff. Hey, Roddy, how you doing this morning? You know, and the stuff that he's said about Noodlehead's boy, you know, I never made fun of that kid. I, you won't ever see me making fun of somebody's kid. Won't happen. I would never say anything bad about one because that shit can backfire. And that's what people, a lot of people don't understand that that's what karma is. It's a backfire of something that you said or done. Yeah, Fast Teddy. I, I read comic books. My brothers read comic books. They, I think we were, oh, we were not teenagers. We were like nine, ten, eleven years old. <laughs> apparently happy. Apparently his mother doesn't care. I mean, he's even said that before. I think he had her on one time, and she, apparently she don't care. She probably blames it on the aunt that he sent him to live with, you know? Yeah, I don't think that kid's mama would let him around her. You know, I, I, I wouldn't. But I, um, yeah. Now, he talks about people being lazy and not getting out and working. The man doesn't have a job. The man does not have a job. He's over there begging people for money to eat. You know? He made, I don't know how much money. He has talked about Doug and Salty and all of these other people making money off of Dylan Rounds when he has made more money than any of them has off of that that boy, off of his, that boy's back. You know? And still doing it. I just hope and pray that their mom, his mom and dad gets him. I mean, because they have so much, so much that they could tear his ass up with of the things that he said and done. 
Oh, yeah, Fast City. I bet there are little boxes in there. That's probably what they use, too, when they go in there. Because, you know, JT living in the back of that camper, he got him a little box in there scratching around, sitting in that child's chair. You know, that's elementary school chairs he's sitting in. I wonder, I thought he said he was a teacher one time. It's funny that that's never showed up anywhere. I'd like to know why he's not a teacher now. Yeah, you're right, American honey. I've met a lot of, a lot of amazing people. A lot. And it breaks my heart that I, I'll end up having to leave them behind because of somebody like him. He is, he's nothing. And BJ, you were disgusting. BJ, oh my God, I had some hope for you. I'm not the one that came after you first, and I hope you know that. And um, I had some high hopes for you. I actually liked you. But, you know, just like everybody else, you got sucked in. But you've had opportunities to get out now. You're not taking them. You've lost your family for him. You've lost your husband for him. You've lost your ch child's dad for him. A nice home for him. You had to move back home with your daddy. Just to sit there and get basically shit dumped on your head. You just think about it, girl. Think about it hard. Is there a mountain girl in here? Well, hello, mountain girl. How are you? <laughs> Honey, I'm just ranting about, you know, our favorite person. You know, I'm just going to say this out here and just get it over with, right? When I came into YouTube, I watched that pig. I didn't like him from day one. I got my channel started. Did not ask him for help. I did let him on my show. Um, I didn't want to. So, I mean, from the get-go, I watched him, and I thought he was the biggest piece of shit that ever walked the face of the earth. And I wanted him not to be with him. I wanted him. I want him. I want him to feel the pain that he's putting other people through. He's going to see it. It's going to happen to him. He's going to lose a family member or a good friend or whatever the case may be. And he's going to hurt. And there are out people out there that will come at him for that. You know, make fun of him. Make fun of his um, family member being buried, you know. I know a lot of people thought I was a fool. I wasn't a fool. I just did what I had to do. So, yeah, JT, you didn't find me. I found you. And that's why I wouldn't let him talk about um, Candace Howard. You know, they were flipping out about that. And I told him, no, you will not come on my show and talk about her and bash her at all. And for the most part, they didn't. They didn't talk about her because if he brought their name up, I'd say no. No, we've already had we we talked about this. And then he goes back, and somebody goes back onto her page and sees where you know I got, sent my condolences to her. No, Kathy Waters, it's tomorrow, hon. Where I sent my condolences to her, you know, and wished her well and everything like that. And I said, you know, if you need to talk, I'm here to talk. We're not friends. I mean, we, we never talked outside of, you know, here. 
but they seen that and that's what they thought you know well she's kin to her now you know she's probably kin to her and, and they probably talk i said no we don't what i did is i seen some of the stuff that they were doing to her and i seen it with ashley too i waited hoped that ashley would ask me the same thing you know would you not let them say anything Because that shit made me sick. So I did. I sat down and I watched Ashley's story. And, oh my God. My heart broke in a hundred pieces. And he messed that up for her. She might not ever be able to recover her son. Because of him. Making an ass, making a scene down there with the sheriff department and stuff. But, you know, I, I just wanted a place here so people that truly did like each other could hang out here, you know. We could talk about what we wanted to or who we wanted to, you know, do vent if we needed to, cuss, cry, whatever. You know, this is supposed to be our safe place. That fool don't come in here. If he does, he's coming in on some name that I don't have a clue about. But like I say, it's, you know, and that's why I never show my face. If you go back and look, which I may have had to delete some of them, too, because I ran out of space again. And I just don't save my stuff. I mean, I'm not going to save it and use it against somebody at any point. I just I just don't I don't I don't operate like that. I just knock it out of the way and, you know, and make room for the next one. Um, But, yeah, I mean, back when I first started out, yes, I came on live. Yes, I showed my face. Yeah, American honey, she does, but but they're going to keep dragging her because of past things. That's just what you know. What he's going to go after me with? I, I don't know what new family member it could be, unless it's an in law or something. And who gives a rat's ass you know, what they say? But that's what he wants to do. He wants to reach in 20, 30 years in the past and say, this is how you are. No, that's not how you are. That's what he does with Kaylee. That's what he does with Bumble. That's what he does with Reuben. All of us. I've never in my life seen a man that is so chicken shit that he has to go after women. Yeah, I have. Yeah, I have. I bet I've seen them get their butts kicked, too. Um. And that'll happen here one of these days. I mean, he, his luck will will run out. Right, Jenny. Um, what it is, is, it's just anything to try to degrade you or embarrass you or hurt your feelings to think that somebody in your family would talk bad about you. You know, why don't he call my mom, see what she's got to say. Oh, he can't, can he? What about my dad? Why don't you call my dad and see what he's got to say? Damn it. Can't get a hold of him either because you don't. He doesn't have a direct line to heaven by any means. He don't even have a prior line to heaven. So, only people I can think of would be exes and more power to you. wonder what his ex would say about him. Oh, I think somebody has interviewed him. Cut one of them, or, or, and I know that big chick, that Stacy Beck. I know that was one of his ex-girlfriends, right? People, right? Yep. See. Oh my gosh, I can imagine taking <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah, exactly, classic coat. And this guy, you know, he's going to be in the position where he's going to need God to help him one of these days, and. God always forgives, but you got to ask for it first. A narcissist does not ask for forgiveness from anybody. You know? I'm going to talk chat. 
I don't have top or bottom chat, Chris Lamb. I just have live. <laughs> yeah, he's living in it, but he likes it. So he thinks hell underground is going to be like he's enjoying it here. No, it's going to be a little hotter there. I'm looking at what? Not chat? Not YouTube? Who? Who, what, when, where, what I miss? Yeah, I mean, just like you know, the stuff he's over there talking about right now could be reported. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm in StreamYard. Am I supposed to be? Let me pull up a. I don't ever have up the other one. <laughs> YouTube. Let me see if I find it. <sighs> Me, you my channel. Have you seen the title there? <laughs> they put up a deal and said that Beaker looked like um Kaylee. But why did um DJ get named as Beaker? Oops. There we go. Oh, yeah. Top chat. What does that do with on live? Am I missing? Okay, Crystal. W what was it doing with me not having that on? Uh, well, let's see. I don't know how long they've been on there now. I'll just quit watching. I, last I had written down. <laughs> oh, yes, I wrote it down. And do y'all know if any of y'all get the robocall, it's a 405 number, area code. Y'all know where that area code is from? Oklahoma. Oh, I wasn't getting all the messages. Okay, Crystal. Sorry. So, yeah. But anyways, chat didn't move there for a while, for like 40 minutes. Um... It took them 48 minutes to get 110 people in. Right? 30 minutes to get 90 people. So, Kathy Jim Bell. <laughs> yeah, I think he's fixing to play one of his Call Me Patty. Call me Patty. Combo. I'm going to have to show her one of these days. I'm going to have to stand up and show y'all this hourglass figure. 36, 24, 36. With a seven size seven shoe. <laughs> I don't give a shit. She called me Patty. She's got to do better than that. That's, that's what I'm, I think um, people used to call me that because my name is Patty, and it rhymed with Patty when we were in, like, fifth grade. Yeah. Yeah, that's her um, mentality, fifth grade. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? BJ. I don't care. She calls me Patty. <laughs> she just slipped. She meant Patty. But she'll be saying soon. Oh, so whatever came about with her stepdad. Hmm. God, I need to pull that back up. Chris Lynn, you think we could pull that back up? Her stepdad, when they was telling us that, um, getting mad, saying that we were going after her family, that was a lie. Oh, so she was just saying that to get, yeah, I know. Um, 
3624 32. <laughs> Hell yeah, Kathy. I'll even wear my birthday suit. Yep. Hey, me too, Kathy. <clears throat> yep. So remind me of that later, Crystal Ann, to put that on my list to do. I've got a big old list. I've got a big list in here. Just waiting for him to make his move. Oh, maybe these are the papers that I filed. And they made copies and gave back to me. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. His dad can be served because he got the same name. His mom can be served because he used her name. <laughs> Oh, I've done, I've done been to the police, Crystal Ann. That's what I said a while ago. They were here and watched the video that he made of my aunt, and they will be here when this one comes out. So, yep. And then it's going to be turn around, fair play. I don't know, Racing Stars. I guess he, he tried it through Bob, and that backfired on him. Got Bob down, but he didn't get me down. Right on, Classic Oak. Right on. Yeah, all you got to do is post it in the newspaper. Same thing with his baby mama. I need to talk to her because all she's got to do is post it. Let it run for 30 days. Oh, yeah. Heck yeah, Kathy. Yeah, yeah, I hurt my, oh yeah, I forgot what I was talking about over there a while ago, wasn't I? Yeah, I hurt, caused her son to lose his home. Damn, girl, you are letting these people destroy your life. One day at a time, sister, they are destroying your life. And if you could actually talk to your dad in all seriousness, I bet you he'd tell you the same. I bet he would say, let's, let's look at this, sis, let's look at this, sis. And see what all, how life has turned out since you've been um, sucking on the back hose of that, um, I don't want to be football player. I can, hell, my sons can kick further than him. They have a half, it's like a half of a football field length. How do you miss? How do you miss? Yeah, I sound fired up on <laughs> Twitter. Oh, Mountain Girl, it's funny. Two times. Oh, I bet I do. Because I'm talking like really slow. And then, of all the nerve, let's see. What was this? Dude's name of, oh, Caveman. Caveman R. Do y'all know him? He says, Twin Mama does too many drugs. Don't you like it when these know-it-all people know about your life? If he knew so much, he would know that I'm never taking drugs in my life. But I think Jim has because he's got that same Coke cough, right? Drink too much Coca-Cola, that's what happens. But see, that's what I like about people like him. Those are always the chicken shits in the bars, you know, that want to sit over there and, and try to talk smack to you. But when you walked up to them and knocked them the hell out, they cried like a little baby. Get her off of me. Is that what you found out, JT? I told you you didn't do your research. I used to be a fighter. Still am. So when you get your little person up here that tells you that I used to be a fighter, believe it, and cage up with me and your little girl.
Yeah, a man with no job talking dirt on YouTube, he's one to judge. And a girl that lives in a small piece of land with 15 others. Peter Malone. Hello, Peter Malone. Oh, yeah, but he says any attention is better than no attention, right? He likes that. You know that? He thought he was really going to be on the cover of the Rolling Stones. Not. They dehumanized him. They said what a dummy he was. That he was not a good person. Dude. Dude. You know, and I start to wonder about, you know, y'all hear about all this child trafficking and stuff. I thought child trafficking was something else until they started talking about P. Diddy. I thought it was just people that like kidnap kids and stuff, but it's not. It's about people that groom teenagers, young women, and have them with them, you know. Not that they necessarily sell them. See, that's what I always thought it was, is kidnapping kids and selling them. I mean, I'm sure that's part of it. Oh, yeah. I'm not frustrated any longer, Classic Holes. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, and I'm and calm enough that I'm going to do what I say I'm going to do. JT, going to do what I say I'm going to do. Yeah, they're all weird over there. That's why he hangs with who he hangs with. Damn, take a look around him. What has he got supporting him? Oh, he guilt trips them into giving them money. Probably the last bit of money that they have. Because he likes to talk about other people on food stamps. And that he called um, Kaylee's, uh, what are the, DHS or whatever it is, to get her food stamps taken away from her. And says that, that she won't talk about it because she's too ashamed to talk about it. That's bullshit. Even if she did have them and he did get them taken away. What the hell kind of man does that make you? Hmm? You like to see children starve or not have the essentials that they need? Because they ask for a little bit of help? Oh, same thing you said about me. You were going to get my food stamps taken away. How'd that work out for you? Hmm? I don't have them for you to take them away from me, JT. And you've already been listed. You are listed. If anything happens, you're the first person to look at. Oh, yeah, he loves to make people homeless. He was bragging on there the other night about, um, what, that girl, that woman that uh, worked with Doug? What's her name? Crime, crime something? Oh, yeah, he bragged about getting her kicked out of her, um, housing what the hell is wrong with you man he is so jealous he wants everybody's money if he can't get their money then he's going to get them kicked out crime and justice yes thank you he got her kicked out she had as a child there too but he gets her kicked out he is the one who done that to Margie Margie you're a dumbass <laughs> you are a dumbass. You know what? He had you kicked out of your housing. Yes, that was him. So who else is housing and, and food stamps and money has he been messing with? Oh, exactly, American Honey. You know, everybody needs a little help sometime. And that's what that money is there for. It's not there for pigs like JT. And if y'all remember, he said that he had food stamps. Y'all remember that? Remember him having food stamps? Yeah, I can remember. I remember when the food stamps were paper and they were in a little booklet. Because, yeah, my dad, when he decided to be mean to me and my mom, we left. We needed help. I remember I was young. 
I was young, and that was the only time that I would get a pop. You know? Because um, it wouldn't get bought it by my dad or whoever. My dad. <laughs> you know, I don't want to talk bad about my dad. I'm just saying, you know. But when we were on our own, you know, we were able to to actually eat. And if there had been somebody like him around trying to stop it, the government, you know, it's coming down on him. He don't realize that there are so many people out here tracking him. And I do know that the FBI is looking into him in Florida. I know that for a fact. And that fact was a very credible person in the same industry as him told me. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with Medicaid and food stamps. Damn right. You know, when you have your first kid, I mean, WIC. He probably thinks WIC is bad. Well, hell, you can make up to, what is it, $80,000 or 50000 or something a year and still get WIC. I wonder what his baby mama, I wonder if she survived on WIC, food stamps, because he wasn't paying her no money. He wasn't giving her any child support. Yeah, I mean... Everybody in the, everybody that I know that had kids had WIC, you know. What dog? <laughs> you know, it just, he don't understand the ways of the world. He thinks that he's the only one that should get a handout. And that's what he gets on here is handouts because he makes his subs feel guilty because they are weak-minded. He was so proud of that one old heifer over there that come over here the other day. He said he was so proud of her coming over here and getting me fired up. Good. It got her blocked. <laughs> so she won't be back. Yes, Chris Lane. Everybody at some point in their life, you know, with the exception of a few, but almost everybody, especially if they've had to become single moms, has had to ask for help. But you got Jimbo over here. Thinks he's got a job. Kicking a, one football. Might kick it twice in the game. Three times max. Um, he's probably going to play one game. Because whenever he starts playing. It's over half over with. So he's, he's a replacement for somebody. Probably somebody that's going to be off that needs to be off they're going on vacation or they're having some kind of surgery or something yes and Colin um yeah you're an abusive ex-husband that you've been divorced from for 20 years um Colin Joy Perry's abusive man that shot her going I'm um, doing the same thing with Betty calling up her exes and stuff like that that um, she had DV issues with. What kind of man is that? What kind of man does that? Somebody tell me. I mean, hell, even last night I seen people talking about him over there and it wasn't good. Um, they said a few things about him over there on um mob, on the mob channel. About this unimportant YouTube creator that thought he was a PI and come out and messed up the whole Dylan Rounds case. Yeah. What they said. Do it. Everybody needs to make a stand against this man or he won't stop. You know, y'all heard about the story um, what, somewhere in. Oh, God. I know somebody knows what I'm fixing to talk about. That story where the Milner or something where the whole town stood together and got rid of the town bully. Y'all remember that? That's what it'll take with this guy. Yeah, Mop Crew's pretty good, Classic Code. I, you know, he's, he's a humble guy, and he really does go out and look for people, you know. He seems, seems cool to me. Now, if I could team up with somebody like that, I would go out and search as well. 
I would never be caught dead with this guy over here being my backup. There's no way. You know? Have y'all y'all know what show it is that I'm talking about? It's called Milner or Mill. What is he saying now? Yeah, a little yelling man. Yeah, that's what he is. Reminds me of a little leprechaun standing out in the woods, you know, on a stump, yelling, yelling at the birds because they made too much noise, yelling at the um, rabbits because they hopped in front of him because he made them. Dude, you didn't make me. You didn't nowhere near make me. There's actually 60 people over here, not, not 30. You can't count either. We know that's not, that's why you have to use a calculator, right? Dude, you can come on, you can bring it, keep bringing it and play it. I go after your sister. You understand? Come on. I'm not scared of you, Jim. I have backed off and played nice and let you think you know something, but you know nothing, just like Betty Hayward said. You know nothing. Nothing. Play the family member. They're obviously, they're not a very good family member, and why would I give a shit? Right? I'll play yours. I'll play them. Let's go. Goofy looking. Dude, you can't even see anymore. You better go get you some glasses. I just spoke with who? The soul sucking gremlin. Ain't that the truth? He is. I mean, he just like, just like a little man. You know, you know all that bragging he done over there on White Boy Channel. You know about all the people that he's porn bombed. That shit went straight to YouTube, dude. You're losing. What you talk to Jim about? Anything good? Good luck, Ty. I hope you find something. I hope you find him. And I heard people say that he that they have seen him. So have y'all went to that area that people are saying that he's at? I don't know if it's a homeless camp or what it is, but keep doing you, Ty Corbin. Oh, yeah, Leanne, he's all about you and him are talking and good friends and that you're trying to get back in over there. And There you go. Yeah, Jim, quit watching me. Every time you uh, click off of me, Jim, it drops back down one. And then when you click back on it, it pops back up. And so I know it's you. Because I got a government computer guy that has got me locked into where I can see everybody that pops on. <laughs> oh, and Jim, Leanne's on panel. <clears throat> Jim Terry, you are, you think anybody trusts you? You're going after twin mama. You're going to try to win me over, which you're jealous of Kaylee because we did talk to you yesterday. Me and uh, somebody else, I'm not going to out their name, but what you try to do is you think you're going to win us over to, to like you and to be on your side or try to split any of us up. It's not going to work. It is not going to work. 
We said Kaylee is a good freaking research. You jealous, Jim? Oh, hell You're yeah, he is. He's jealous yes. of somebody. He's acting like Kaylee's looks has anything to do with her shit. She ain't afraid anymore. She's on there. Camera. Yeah, and Can he's saying you that you see? said Kaylee was ugly. I don't oh, think he said is, that. She is so ugly. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's more He's than look. Try. It's what's inside. You know that makes a person he beautiful is inside. Try you know. Anything. We know how you work. You think we're stupid? Why do you think I talk to you, Jim? I call or I call you when you're on their freaking panel, so I can get my flipping jabs in. Because I'm blocked on every freaking forum that you're on. What are they afraid of that I'm going to come in here and start shit? No, I'm going to respond. Always 12 steps ahead, Jim. Remember that. Yeah, Jim. We've always, always been ahead of you. You don't see it coming. You didn't see it coming when we left you either, did you? You had the wrong people picked. Exactly. <laughs> Wrong people, buddy. Exactly. We weren't born yesterday. And no, I'm not an airhead. Because I'm very goddamn smart. Did you, you see her get I'm that bowl of shit dumped all over her head a while ago? God, I love <laughs> Ashley. If I had her number, I would send her a cash out. I missed all that. I she just dumped a whole off. bowl of compost on what's your face's head. <laughs> Live. It had eggshells in it. it. Oh my God. It had oh, noodles shit. in it. It had um, carrot puree. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. You really think we're. Well, let him keep on. He's trying to put doubt in people's mind. And if there is doubt in your guys' mind, you got a problem because you know that I have been here with Mama since day one. Mm -hmm. He thinks he's going to take her down by going to each little person and acting like he's my best friend. You think I trust you, Jim? I can't cuss today because I've just babysat. No, I'm not going to ever trust you. Ever. Ever. No. Don't work, Jim. You didn't make me mad at her, and you tried. Oh, he tries to make you mad at everybody. Oh, the only person I'm mad at is him, because I don't believe anything he says about anybody else. I really don't. Don't you I see don't. how he's working? Yes, that's what I'm saying. I know how he works. So and I'm not going to get mad doing. at the ones that he's trying <laughs> to make me mad at. Rhonda Houses <laughs> coming in four ninety nine super sticker. How about that, Jim? That's my Rhonda right there. That he likes to say is supporting Hold on me. a second. Hold on. Hey, Wayne Mother. White boy couldn't wait to get rid of him. Love you, Twin and Leanne. Well, thank you, Wayne. We love you, too. Although, I don't know who you are. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <clears throat> nobody can believe anything he says or does. Okay, sorry. That's okay. Um, this is the game. I play I'm just as good as the game at you. Don't you understand? Keep calling me, Jim. I'll answer. I ain't afraid to talk to you. You took Bob down. You're not going to take her down. Yeah, he says that we did that to Bob. It wasn't us. It wasn't well, us. Well, we were a little hard on Bob, but Bob did it to himself. He asked for it. Did anybody yes, ever he hear did. him apologize for, to me for trashing me? It's the same thing at Narcissist Gym. He's not going to apologize. That's why I said, well, go. He's not going to get repentance from God when he goes to H-E double hockey sticks, you know, because he doesn't apologize. Exactly. Look at here, Jim, another Ronda Houser. 499, never trust Jim. He is a very mean, deceitful human being right on Rhonda love you girl and you know what Jim you didn't take Lacey down either 
No. That was a that was a day of you trying to manipulate. And Lacey isn't afraid. Lacey's a strong freaking woman. Lacey isn't nothing compared to what you say. She's strong. She's intelligent. She has a family. And you went after her. And I think all this look stuff and everything you're flipping saying is because little PJ got her feelings hurt. Because she's so ugly. That's what it was. She got noodles well, dumped in her hair big. by her own sister-in-law. So that tells me something right there. <laughs> well, we're not stupid. I mean, yeah. you think we're stupid. Yeah. We can play the game. Call me. Call me 10 times a day. Except don't talk to him on here. I don't want to hear his nasty, foul mouth. No, I agree. I agree. Wayne I'll Mathery from Australia. Shout plan. out to Australia. Do what, Leanne? I said, I'm good at his game. I like to, and, and, and I get you guys all don't want me to talk to him and I get all this and you don't trust. You all can believe what you want to believe, but have trust in me. Cause I wouldn't get my ass up here and talk about him and think it's a game. And I told him I'll never stop talking about him. No, he needs You're to get weaseling. back on Channel. You're weaseling away. I'm a normal human being. I can talk. I can play games. And I'm good at that game. I'm good at freaking, what do you want to say? Smack talk. I like smack talk. That's me. I'm a smack talker. I might not be good at cases or other things like that because I'm burnt out for a while. But you're just jealous because Kaylee is a good researcher. Kaylee can has the eye to see certain things. And I hope she continues of what she's freaking doing. She's good at it. And I, and I hope, hope she don't quit it. Exactly. <clears throat> good. Jim, and I told you this while we were still over there. Remember you got mad? I told you she was smart. Oh, that ain't your goozle bad. Yeah, Jim Bob, I don't sit in the corner anymore. Bring it, Buster. Bring it. Hi, Destiny Grant. Look at here, Jim. Rhonda Hauser coming in another four ninety nine. Jim only calls everyone for content. Think of people care. He has no content content but making phone calls. You're right. We're his content. He's got nothing. He talks about us, and then we talk about him talking about us, you know? Well, he's going to do it, and I... Uh, 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 hold up. Hold up. Oh, sorry. Joy, is that an accident, or did you mean that? <laughs> Damn, Jim. Joy Perry, forty nine ninety nine Super sticker. Stick that in your pipe and smoke it. <laughs> you little gremlin. I like this twin Damn, mom. Show it, Perry. I love you. <laughs> I see. I like this new mama. Hell yeah. <laughs> I did. And who the hell did he contact, mama? He thinks you're afraid. It is, that's what he thinks it was with Lacey. I don't he care who he was. was going to back down like Kenny or somebody like that. Yeah. Whoa. We're not wussy like that. No. When you got a when you got a woman that's got kids, dude, you are barking up the wrong damn tree. We don't back down for much. I promise you that. That's why we're called mama bears. We're called mama bears for a reason. Exactly. Damn, Joy. Damn. I bet you, I bet you never got that, JT. That was for you, twin mama. Fuck Jim Terry. Ah, thank you, Joy. Thank you. Jim hasn't made 50 bucks all week. I think you're right. Get JD loves this twin mama. Y'all gonna get tired of me screaming and hawk. Looky here, another one. JT, are you looking? Convos with Crystal Ann coming in $20 because I love you and appreciate you and Leanne. 
Does anybody ever say that to you, Jim? They say they love you, but do they really? I bet you've never heard them say they appreciate you. Okay, carry on. I don't know. I was liking you ranting. <laughs> <laughs> Ruben Sanchez. Hello, Ruben Sanchez. <laughs> <laughs> exactly and then he's going to keep on doing his dirty deeds of going after people and thinking he's going to convince people that they're train wrecks or they don't have a normal life hello joy hello joy I'm here I'm here you're on live I'm here I did that. Fuck you, Jim Terry. You <laughs> piece of rotten fucking mouth. Get him, Joy. You cocksucker. <laughs> and you keep calling VJ's sister-in-law a slave. She deserves what she gets, too. She's a fucking slave, just like Michelle's slave. You think everybody's your slave? And you're fucking God. Fuck you, Jim Terry. You piece of foul mouth motherfucking piece of shit. Amen. <laughs> and <he's gone. laughs> right on, right on, Joy Perry. You see? Oh, he's a trip. I just oh. am, I, I'm, I'm, it, it's just a game. I mean, think about it. Goes round and round. Who's going to be next? Yeah, yeah. Oh, look, Jim, Miss Canada coming in $10 saying, I appreciate you, twin mama. Fuck Jim Terry's what she said. Oh, <laughs> look, 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 Jim, there's another one coming up. Oh, my God, another one you said doesn't drop money. 80 root, $50. Everything Joy said. Right on. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate y'all so much. Now make this gal feel good. Thank you. His Edie, is <laughs> Edie, I just got to put this in there. Edie, we have a day off. No court today. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Kaylee. You keep doing what you're doing, girl. That's right. You're really good at it. You you got a niche. And I'll tell you what. I've remembered going through and doing exactly what you did for four years. And it's hard work. I don't care what anybody says. But you got a niche. I have did it for four years straight. Exactly what you're doing. And I have to say. And you can talk about it. I just was a good researcher and, and typed it out and stuff. But you're on there and you're talking. You you just, everything matches together. And Kaylee, you're beautiful inside and out. There you go. So keep, keep it up, girl. Yep. Oh, sure, Kaylee. Why not hit <laughs> me and, um, yeah. Me and Kathy got a date to... Drip tease and show our 34, 24, 36 bodies. <laughs> I don't know who. So, what has he been saying to you? Oh, apparently, I'm getting threats now. Really? Shall I go over there and strike? You who are you? Who are you threatening? He's a trip. Threats to twin mama, etc. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, 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 hell no. Wait a minute. I got a Venmo. Oh, heck. Whatever. Gave you $50. Happy birthday, twin mama. <laughs> How about that? Oh. oh, my God. I didn't even see that. Now I'm running your show. He's trying everything to get you to hate me. Hate you? Yep. Uh, 
or trying to get me off your show. Oh, I know. He's been doing that for quite some time. Oh, and look at this. Kathy Waters coming in. $50. Super chat. Happy birthday, sweet, beautiful lady. Thank you, Kathy Waters, so much. Thank you. Thank you. God, I appreciate y'all. Look at her. Iceberg coming in. $9.99. Girl, I missed you. I heard earlier that you left town. Was you on your way here? Thank you, <laughs> Iceberg. I appreciate you. We'll meet up here in just a little bit over to Red Lobster because I can get my crab legs. <laughs> wow. Yes, she would, Edie Ruth. Do Kaylee what? would make an excellent investigation journalist. Mm hmm She would. Oh, exactly. She's talented. Oh, Rhonda Hauser again there, Jim. Another four ninety nine. Much love here for all, all of us. No matter our numbers. Right on. Thank you so much, Rhonda. Appreciate that. God, I appreciate all y'all. Thank y'all. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, American honey. Yeah, I know, Leanne. He ain't gonna make me mad. I mean, because I know what he's up to. Oh, hell yeah. You know? So do we. Yeah, we've seen this coming from day one. That's what I said. <laughs> you know, I started with um, um, YouTube. I found him. And I seen he was the most disgusting, vile human being on the face of YouTube. And I went after him. Dude, mm -hmm. you're right where I wanted you, JT. Exactly. You think you made me, but you know what? I broke you. Bam. Because if Out of all, broke, think if about it. Yeah, if he wasn't broke, he wouldn't be on YouTube. He would be on his little OTT. Dale, you are a trip, you little P-U-S-S-Y. <laughs> is he over here? No, Buster said Dale C is lurking and jerking himself off with tweezers. Oh, oh tweezer jerker. Miss Canada coming in another two dollars, a few more dollar bucks for your lobster. Thank you, Miss Canada. I appreciate that. Bam. What was it he said that the nine nine hundred dollars that we took from him? Uh, we weren't getting it, but he wasn't getting it either. So <laughs> that's his purpose. What he's doing with me is he's waiting for me to slip up. Get something to have everybody hate me and have everybody get me off of Twin Mama's channel. Mm -hmm. You don't I think we're suffered. not smart? <laughs> Apparently he don't. I mean, he can't see it because he's never been around smart people. He don't know. He don't know. I mean, you see what he surrounds himself with. Yeah. Oh. Looky here, Jim, again, another Rhonda Hauser, $4.99. Twin mama controls and runs herself. Get the lobster. <laughs> right on, Rhonda. Thank you, hon. I appreciate you. Uh, <laughs> Iceberg, you're cool. That red lobster, pretty good, ain't it? Do y'all hate me, Eddie? <laughs> <laughs> Another two more bucks for the lobster, not crotch crabs. Thank you, Buster. Oh, they didn't pop up there. Thank you, Buster Bradamus. I appreciate that. Look at there. Yeah, we all know Leanne's a punk. We we give her grace. <laughs> <laughs> well, hell yeah. So I was wondering. If he thought that I was that dumb that he could act like he's a normal human being. He's nothing normal, you know? I mean. I've oh, he's a snake. You're a snake. Oh, yeah. I've seen a lot of, you know, mental illnesses, you know, and around other people. And, yeah. 
<laughs> Lady Ruth says, if you leave here, we're coming after you, Leanne. We drive her ass back, kicking and screaming. <laughs> oh, shit. Shh. Oh, shit. Here comes another one. Uh huh. Cluckers coming in at $1.99 for the lobster fun. Thank you so much, Cluckers. And thank you for the happy birthday comment. Appreciate it. <laughs> lobster. You know, I like to dip that down in that shrimp sauce, a cocktail sauce. I, I oh, oh, put butter on it, baby. Put butter oh, on. I can't do all that butter, but um, um, but I use that um shrimp sauce for my crab legs and everything. Mm, 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 mm. Mouth you water. Do? You do? Oh yeah. I don't. I can't do the butter. I shake it off and then I dip it uh, down. <laughs> oh, that's right. You're a ticking time bomb. I'm a ticking time boob. I'm a ticking time boob. <laughs> Rhonda Hauser coming in again at dollar ninety nine. Leanne is here to stay. We show her love here. Yeah, right on. Thank you, Rhonda Hauser. Do you feel loved yet, Leanne? I feel loved. I always do. But if you don't love me, that's okay too. One day you would find out what kind of person I am. Well, a lot of you know I'm a punk, and I I like to uh, tell it like it is. Right. Sandy, coming in $2 super sticker. Thank you so much, Sandy. I appreciate that. Oh, wow. Rhonda Hauser, coming in again, $4.99. Happy birthday. Dang. Thank you, Rhonda. Damn, Jim, you see all that? You got your boy over here counting them? We're at 18 now. His, um, what is that guy called? Computer nerd. Computer. Oh, computer government guy. Oh yeah, that guy that made the application that comes in and sucks out my super stickers, and they count them. Yeah, so you file taxes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, hell yeah, he's calling it out at a dollar forty nine. So I don't have to pay taxes on a dollar forty nine. 96 in the house, Jim. Kelly, you could do the calculator in your head. You wouldn't even need a calculator. <laughs> yep, Kaylee, get up here and start counting. Add it up <laughs> in your head. Let's see how. Oh, Edie Ruth says, I'm going to get sick of lobster. I'm going to get lobster and crab legs and shrimp scampi. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> and ribs and brisket. I'm going to be so sick. <laughs> oh, the lurkers come when their leader ended. Candy bars for the boys. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Check the CA. Read the comment, too. Check what's the CA. Okay, I didn't say I was smart. <laughs> What's a CA? <laughs> You're not very smart either, huh? Okay, well, at least we... <laughs> I always say that. <laughs> Indiana says my abacus is spinning. <laughs> oh, Mother Butter. Good morning. This twin mama and Miss Leanne finally caught alive again. I know I've missed you, Mother Butter. I sure have. Indiana, I'm old school too. <laughs> I round off so much easier. <laughs> well, I don't want to take over your show. Who? So you just keep going on. Show them you got it. Well, that don't mean you got to get down. Oh, I'm not getting out. Oh, cash app. That's what it means. Oh, hell, look at here. Uh, <laughs> Fast Daddy coming in $10 for I hate lobster, but I hate <laughs> FAT more. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you so much. I wonder why it don't notify me. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, my gosh. I also um have a 
Oh, there's a red lobster ad right there. Last chance for lobster fest. Wow. Only here for two more days, just in time. Um, I um, I've got a uh, Timu package coming. Yeah. Has anybody else got any lately? I don't do Timo. There's Wise Guy again. Any updates on Goat Daddy? We don't talk about Goat Daddy because he is not important. Oh, yeah. He's already done been watched. I hadn't seen you around, Wise Guy. I hadn't even seen you, seen you um, live on your channel lately. Hmm. Fuckers get laying them eggs. Birthday cake needed for twin mama tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's a good one. <laughs> I love Timu. Yeah, I've got a, I actually have a, a nice green screen coming. I've already got the white screen. It wasn't what I thought, but I have a green screen coming with all the the poles, the whole attachment thing. So it's very nice. So that's for when I'm getting ready to um, start showing myself. There you go. Give them something else, somebody else to call ugly for a while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, read what Rhonda said. That's a good one. Oh, where's Rhonda at? Where'd you go, Rhonda? People's people supporting supporting all the hate Jim spreads needs to stop. Getting excited for Blue Diamond to have anxiety and shitting herself is not fun content. Oh my gosh, no. But she's gonna do it for him, probably. Harry Lou, I haven't seen that name in a long time. I'm coming in $20. Happy birthday, lovely lady. Well, thank you, Carrie Lou. Long time no see. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Timu should have... I know they should have me on commission. I guess I could start using them as my ad. My ads, you know. Oh, wise guy, I'll fill you in because she thinks I want her nasty snatch. Oh, I'm getting dirty. Well, um, they said that you were in love with her. <laughs> <laughs> Are you you're not in love with me anymore? Or are you just Oh, we were having that you know, rendezvous. <laughs> you're old news now. <laughs> oh, <shut up. laughs> okay, as we called it, they're not married. Thank you, Wise Guy. She Still loves Kenny. He's her soulmate. Um, and they just want to move on with their lives. Same shit. Different day. They don't change their stripes because I'll tell you what. She's got, what, five kids? I don't know. I want to be her kid's uh, lesbian daddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit whatever are you cooking somewhere I can catch a ride under the bridge put my thumb out <laughs> and I know here's the thing everybody gets tired of me because I feel like you get tired of hearing him but I the one that is the tacker backer. <laughs> that should be my that should be my new name, a tacker backer. Tacker backer. <laughs> I'm a tacker backer when I get madder. <laughs> That's right. And you keep it up too. There's nothing to be afraid of. What they're trying to do is Take you down. It's all what mm -hmm. they want. Yep. So he can say, I told you so. 
Yeah, like you said, I told you so, you know, about finding Dylan and all that stuff over there that they're giving him money to act like he solved the case, which he has he solved any. I don't know. You know, he tried to take credit for that one that um down there where they um fingers with purpose, you know, pull that boy out, Jed Hall. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. No, nope, not married. They say they're getting married in 14 days, so that's like 13 or 12 days now. <laughs> and I was right. I, was, I, I told you so. Kenny couldn't go to Alaska. He had to get his driver's license. I called it out, and everybody right. thought I was being mean. I told you so. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> oh, whatever. Yeah, she's got the calculator skills. <laughs> she's got the calculator skills. <sighs> she's got all kind of skills. I mean, she makes him look like a freaking. Oh, never mind. <laughs> that was going to be bad. I didn't want to. Yeah. Be a little bit political too, you know. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, Buster. Kenny lied again. <laughs> well, I thought Bob and Kenny was going to be an item. Me too. Well, he got you, Bob. After you said that you were going to be done with Dylan's case, usually you say one thing and you change your mind. But I have to agree with what Mama said. You played this out the wrong way. You you might have uh, thought that you were mad at her, but people get they're so easily to get in your ear and influence you. Mm hmm. Big time, and and it's sad. You're a grown man, and uh, and got all, to stay on all, the JT. All these people. That had your back. They flocked to you to help you when he was running his mouth about you. And you disappointed everybody because you didn't even give a shit. It was all about you. So here's the thing. Everybody went to your thing to not have him on YouTube. You started getting attacked and you fell for it. You fell for it again. So why should anybody care to go and help you when they, when you were laughing and talking about the world famous movie director and Jim and everything else and all these people were behind you and well I don't give a shit who you think I am whatever Bob just stay off YouTube. Yeah. Um, no, she didn't, wise guy. I think they had her scheduled to do it, and they got mad because she refused. <laughs> wise guy, she, I don't think she, she backed out on milking herself, but like yeah. I said, Twin Mama has a video of what her personality is. Her real self. Right. Mm-hmm. So keep messing with her. Keep messing with us. Me. Don't worry about me. Keep messing with twin mama. She might just take little snippets out. Every time you say something bad, Emma, she might put something out there. Has she been saying bad stuff about me? No, I haven't seen her say it about you. It's it's me because I'm the one that's more vocal. Oh, well, I'll <laughs> let you get the video and cut you a snippet out. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> We're a team. Well, here's the thing also is um, why... 
would she go back and everybody what's amazing me is he's got the skills to bullshit people make them feel like everything's normal that this is a show i listen to you jimmy for at least i guess now two weeks you're still the same you can bluff the dumb ones mm -hmm. You can bluff the dumb ones and they're dumb. If they think that you are uh, gonna be buddies and special friends with them, it doesn't, you threw Ty Corbin under the bus and made him look bad. And he was the one that talked to you the longest. I mean, make that make sense. And then you go on and you say, oh, Leanne and Kaylee are, helping Todd Corbin with his thing. Well, you're goddamn right. We thought he's a good man. I didn't care what uh, anybody else says. I don't really care what he does. You can tell people's personalities behind a screen. You watch their mannerisms. You watch what they say. You watch what they do. And I've sat back and watched Ty for, what has it been, a year and a half, almost two years, Mm -hmm. And the man has never changed. He's been the same guy. So you see, we're all very wise. Yeah, which I don't even want my parents coming in alive. Hello. I told Bob, I messaged him, and I told him, you you canceled your, you closed your comment section, but it's okay for Jim and Mark to make comments and nasty slurs to you on a live channel and all that good stuff. So why don't you go back to them that way? When you get better, you might I'll see you in Vegas. And if that's not good enough, why don't you take Marcy with you? She's close to you. You can take the blanket and you and her cuddle up at the casino. And when you lose all your money, you can send Marcy out on the street to go suck somebody or mooch some money. And she don't put her teeth in anyways. <laughs> Oh, hell yeah, Joy, you're back. Marcy's only two hours from you, Bob. And maybe if you start your channel, she could be your co-host. And Joy, didn't he show you his true self? You always been his buddy. And then to treat you like that, too. He's yeah. selfish. <laughs> he's a selfish man. Yeah, we had his back, but he'd rather go to the dark side and and let Jim and them take him down, advertise it on live channels. Yep. To the public. And he's still kissing their ass. So what is, yeah, and you, you know what else he's doing, Joy? He's using us being mad at him. Like, oh my God, you did this to Bob. You took him down. Mm -hmm. You're a weasel, Jimmy. <laughs> He said he didn't do nothing wrong. Well, fuck him. He did. Yes. He, he was disgusting. And when he went back and talked to Jim, that even was more disgusting. And to run his mouth. Oh, the birds are loud over there at Twin Mamas. Oh, she got to put her kids to bed after midnight. That's none of his fucking business. He didn't complain before. Exactly. So, You're a wise woman. Right? I just want to put that out there because I left him a message like that. He might not see it today, but he'll see it when he opens his phone up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you, we love you. I gave him, I gave him the chance of being old school. I preached it and I still believe it. Um, but I have no respect for him anymore because he is a older guy and he should know the game and apparently he don't know the game of what they were doing. 
he they didn't want him on Twin Mamas anymore because they thought he was the show. Mm -hmm. Nobody's the show. Everybody did it to help him too. Yeah, that's why he was saying what he did about. Okay, that's where that came from. He was saying that um that I came over to his panel or whatever and, and was only on there to get his subs. Yeah. <laughs> and that he was bringing people to me. And Oh, okay. Yeah, that's where that came from. <laughs> Jesus. Exactly. Well, I feel sorry for the ones that were close to him, that talked to him and had a good time with him. And he only worried about himself. It was mm -hmm. always about you, Bob. Always. So hopefully, hopefully, well, here, I'll be nice. I enjoy, I hope you enjoy the rest of your life. I hope you get well. I hope that you, your health gets better. I think that you had a hard time, but there's no more excuses uh, about what's going on. Uh, you showed your true color the other night, and that's all it took. You know how many people seen that? Everybody. Everybody. I mean, let me say my, my niceties to him. Bob, I hope you live a long, fruitful life. I hope that you don't melt into your chair. And I hope that when you go out gambling that you don't lose too much money because you know what? You don't have um, YouTube now to reimburse you. Take care. That was, there you go. That was nice. Yes, I did. Whatever. Thank you very much for that 50 bucks. Thank you. Thank you. Jim saw it too. <laughs> 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 so apparently I just heard them guys say he's on um, Blue Diamond to do a stunt he does that now when you gonna come back at her when you came back at me cause I wouldn't ride a roller coaster <laughs> right and send him the video even though you were my co-host you know you would plug that on here <laughs> you know oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's too funny. <laughs> oh, hello, um, Jennifer Thompson. She says, hello, twin mom and Miss Leanne. I'm glad I made it. Well, I'm glad you made it, too. Good to see you. Happy, hello. People are sneaking in. Um, seen somebody else up here, too. Already seen Wise Guy. Um, who do I see? Destiny Grant. Kodiak. Already seen my Kathy Cat. Lillian Fields. Hello. Hey, I think I'm caught back up with everybody. Happy. They absolutely have no moral compass. If it is, their north is pointing straight down. Exactly. Heck yeah, maybe I'll go to the casino and go live and I'll play them thundering bisons or whatever they are. And you know what? I'm proud of you because you've been tested in this last couple weeks with him thinking that he was getting one over on me and got Bob. He caved in. Kenny left. He's trying everything and you're standing your ground and that's why i'm proud of you well thank you calling snooks he he's trying mm -hmm. he's trying everything mm -hmm. yeah calling snooks sending her messages hey snooks you well know. he's trying to yes he's trying to put doubt in all this community's 
uh, minds about us. And if you believe them, please don't, because we're not suckers. Oh, well, I'm not a sucker either. Well, I'm telling everybody else. Oh. <laughs> and Crystal Ann, yes, I'm very proud of you. Very proud of you. You didn't cave in like two other people we knew. Right. We're proud of you. <laughs> Yeah, Justin. Hello, Bob thinks kids get tied to the bed and can't get up. Right? No clue. He has no clue how to raise kids. Jim Perry has no clue how to raise kids. The uh, other one that, what's his name, MT over there, no clue how to raise kids. Yes, they're the ones that comment the loudest, dude. When you have your own and raise them, give me a call. I might answer them just so I can say I told you so. <laughs> when I met you, I knew you were a determined woman. <laughs> yeah, I have my moments when I think, you know, just screw it. Uh, oh, you know, but then I think of him and I hear his mouth run. And I think, no, dude, the louder you scream my name, the longer I'm going to be here. <laughs> Exactly. Holy smokes. Kathy Waters. $50. Oh, my God. Again, casino birthday money gift. Oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you. You're so sweet, you guys. You are awesome. Hey, Radita, how are you? Thank you, Kathy. I appreciate that very much. Yeah, Crystal Ann, and I think there's some guys that here that says there's nothing more rewarding than being a dad. Something he'll never know about, you know? Unless it's by accident. Thanks, Roddy. Supposedly he got his drunk driving license back and has a job. <laughs> oh, that's his had. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Past tense. Hmm. <laughs> So he um he apparently is gonna play another relative's video. You're the next one again. He's trying everything. Yeah. Well, I mean, he I guess he thinks that whatever this relative is gonna say that anybody's gonna give a shit about. I mean, exactly. nobody believes him, you know. We know you lead people in conversation. We know you're a car salesman. Exactly. I bet in the past life you were sold door to door encyclopedias. <laughs> you didn't read them, of course, but you sold them. <laughs> Snook's about an hour and 48 minutes. <laughs> well, Ed, <laughs> Kathy Waters said, fuck you, Jim Terry. <laughs> Jim did <laughs> fall. <laughs> yeah, he did fall. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> or remember the Kirby vacuum cleaner guys? Oh yeah, I bought a couple of them. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> or the knife salesman. I uh -huh. can imagine a knife salesman coming out today in this world. Oh wow. <laughs> no kidding. I like those knobs that the silver ones. What are those called? Wait, the stainless steel. Yeah, I get this. Yeah, one. you'd have to take a um, what was that a like a sharpening stone to sharpen them? Uh, after so long, I remember my brother doing that for my mom once in a while because as she got mm -hmm. older, them knives she wouldn't buy new knives, so he'd have to sharpen them. Um, they've gotten better because I think the school. Sold them. I think my daughter sold them when she was in school. And now they have um, black handles on them instead of just the silver. Yeah. It has that black on it, which I like much better because if you run them through the dishwasher, which you're not supposed to, they get that dry feeling on them, on the handles. That's just it. Yeah. Destiny Grant. 
you pegged him exactly mm -hmm. the way he is. She's talking about Kenny. Oh, okay. It kind of goes for all of them. <laughs> and just like you say, it takes, and I know a lot of uh, people preach, it takes time for different people to see it. And nobody's telling you what to do. If you like him, don't come over or don't, or, you know, you don't have to listen to him. Listen to us preach and you'll find out eventually. And you, well, you'll move on. We all learn in different uh, things. When somebody doesn't do something to you, it's like, okay, you know, whatever. But um, eventually you'll learn when you start watching how people act. She was actually talking about Bob. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, I was with you. I, I always let Bob go. I still have no hard will towards him. I feel sorry for him because he can be easily manipulated. Um, and he also can, I don't give up, you know what, attitude. But when it was done to him, he got pissed and everybody backed him. Mm -hmm. And he could give a rat's ass about whatever anybody did for him. But I can't believe that JT doesn't want to take the credit for taking him down. He, he gave it to us. Well, he needs another platform. Yeah, that's why he's tried to go after um, Fight Boy. Oh, he'll want on Rainbow Mountain soon. He'll try to He'll try to build these people up to where he's their bestie. Mm -hmm. And they feel, oh, he's not that bad. He's good at what he does. He's very good in the... At lying? Oh, he's good manipulating. at manipulating people. Oh, God, yeah. And there's so many people that are good-hearted that... Well, I'm not saying I'm not good-hearted, but there's so many people <laughs> out there that are good-hearted and... Uh, don't hold grudges or they just let ill will go over their head. Um, and that's how they, he works on them. Right. You're right. And happy. Everybody did back him. Bob is blaming the ones who actually cared about him. Yeah. Well, it is the truth. He, he can, or he could say whatever he wants. He had, this is YouTube, he always said. I nobody picks and chooses my friends. Well, Bob tells me what to do. Yes, and here's the thing when you have people that came over to your show that you know wish you well and wish you all this stuff, and then all of a sudden they stick up for you for what these people have been doing to you and then you turn on them. That's not right, Bob. That's not right. I'm sorry. Right. Kodiak. I'm right there with you. <laughs> they already took today's show down. Yeah. Because it's been struck and they don't want no more people striking it. Yep. Too late, JT. I struck it like a mug. <laughs> well, that's what their new scheme is, Jim. Like, we're stupid. X takes them, X takes them and puts them on OTT because you want the running crab leg show. But if it stayed up on BJ's, it would have got struck down. So, and you're afraid, like you said about Betty, you won't get your um, material. Well, he's got a contract, though, to get. So he can oh, get shit, yeah, okay, okay. But he, they think OTT is untouchable. They're wrong. I've already made that call. They're not untouchable. Yeah, so who was it, um, Rhonda? Who was it that was calling him Gull, Gully Bull? 
they changed his name to Gully Bull. Who was that? Was that JT Show? Yeah, Bob, did you know you had a new name, Gully Bull? <laughs> what happened? Uh, well, they were talking, just trashing me, trashing Kaylee. Um, still talking about Dylan. Um, still talking about um, Lacey H's video they did on her, and they're going to do one on me. And <laughs> our, from another family member, they've got info from a, a new family member. Lord, they only knew I don't have family, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> you yeah. know, you think about it. 99% of the time you hear, we don't mess with it over here. We don't mess with it. We're, we're, uh, we put it on Rumble or anything else. But here's the thing, Jim. Nobody gives a shit anymore. Except your little bitty people. Your thing is you need to move on. And go find new victims. Go to new communities. But are you determined to crush a community uh, before you move on? Oh, yeah. Because he knows he's going down. So he's got to, he's like one of them people that are, you know, they'll take everybody down with them when they get, you know, thrown in jail for whatever crime they committed. They're going to snatch up as many people as they can to go down with them. Or like these people that wipe out their whole families. What is that called? Family something. Annihilation. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> we'll take them all down with him. <laughs> or these women that jump over the bridges with their children. That wants to take them all down. It's the same mentality. Yeah. Same mentality. Right. I agree. Everybody hit that like button. Please and thank you. So I guess we're in, in competition every day. Me against them three. I got me and Leanne against them three today. <laughs> or four or five, however many that got over there. You know, the other day they had four. They had Bob <laughs> and JT and MT and BG, <laughs> BJ. <laughs> <laughs> He does. He loves the sound of his own voice. It's like the sound of music to him. Exactly, Kathy. Yeah. Elsie, so no one gives a fuck, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they went in after LC like that. Is that who you talking about, LC over there? Or is that a different LC? LC is the one, the same one. Oh, okay. Yeah, she gets me my uh Jim, she gets me for when uh it's time to bash you, but when she does cases, she gets the smart people. <laughs> <laughs> Kodiak has it. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Y'all know people that do that when you're having an argument with somebody and they keep yelling over you and yelling over and they're usually just repeating the same thing over and over and over and over and over. That's screaming in your face. I told you, I told you, I told you. They're like a, a parrot or something, you know. I learned to do that. <laughs> just so I can get my voice in. Right. <laughs> Get more cried. <laughs> oh yeah, you can't. Yeah, you can't call in and um address him. You know about the reason you're calling because he'll change it to whatever he wants and then scream over you and hang up, hang up and then say that you're they're on hold or something. You know, I've heard he's done that to a lot of people. Put them on hold. Oh, you know, yeah. the phone call. Yep. 
<laughs> exactly. They said they have 198 on their robocall. That was after adding Tony Doby this morning. <laughs> so you got 500 people in your OTT, but you're only calling less than half of them. Go, good catch. Yeah, you don't lock those other, the other more than a half. <laughs> that might cost him more money. That's what I'll say. Yeah. But he's making money. Yeah. They beat me. They beat me every day. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Cody, that's exactly what he does. He hangs up on people and then says that the other one hung up. Yeah. Link. Ruben, before you get up, I'm going to say sorry for all the bad things I've been saying for the last times I've been up on Mama. <laughs> no, he's been in there praying for us, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Destiny, it was so sweet. Then Elsie told Mark Betty was going to be his host for Ladies Night. Mark said, what? Oh, yeah, that burnt them bad. <laughs> Lacey H, I'm way behind trying to catch up. Hope everyone is having a great day. Finally got power. Yay. <laughs> I know we, were, we were out of water yesterday. They And they were working on the water line just right out here. Because I kept hearing noise. I thought, what is that? And um, went out there in the cities out there working on the water lines. <laughs> So I didn't wash my dreads last night. <laughs> but I won't clip nothing in my hair. That's what she said. I said, why don't you just clip them in? I ain't going to clip nothing in my hair. <laughs> really? But you'll wad up your hair into a nest? <laughs> <laughs> Kick eggshells out of it today. It's all right. I, I posted it. Did you not see it, hon? No. I posted the link. No, the link to her. Oh, I thought you meant, I hope somebody got a snapshot of that. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Ashley oh, putting her, that over her hair. That would have been hysterical. Oh, to see. I know. I know. I bet you Betty got it. <laughs> <laughs> Probably why we ain't seen her yet. She's over there making content out of it. <laughs> She's going to give it to me for my birthday, and I am going to trouble with it. <laughs> Ruben. Um, breaking news. Breaking news. Uh, we have spotted uh, a pissant cherry. Oh, you got him under surveillance? <laughs> Hold on. Let me see if I get this right. Alpha, Delta, Omega. I guess somebody got him that four by four, four by four, so he can go six or nothing. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh God! If that's got a stick ship in there, you better get him out of it. <laughs> why, why does he drive around with pictures of himself with nut blown on him and shit? I don't understand that. I think that's <laughs> oh my God! I love you. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! <laughs> you made my. Like I think it's fucking mascara is fucking uh, fucking up too. Right? <laughs> hey, Christine Malazzo, how are you, honey? How did that oh, you Go up a little closer. I gotta get my glasses on. Make him big. I can, uh, I can, I can. Yeah, I'm on the phone. We're not okay. We're not dumb. Oh my freaking god. <laughs> oh god. Oh my freaking god. 
Look at that chicken neck. <laughs> Bouncing all over his picture and shit, you know? Oh, you're a better film actor than Mr. Smarkles, huh? Nice Somebody got that before. I don't know who, you know? Oh, shit. <laughs> you, you, can search, you can go search fucking for nothing, I guess. Yeah. Oh, this is so looking good today. Happy sis. <laughs> looks, looks like you got uh, the forever sniffles, huh? Oh my God! Can you make him some big? <laughs> Mama, can you make him big? Make him big. Because oh. I am just noticing something. You know they're going to see that, right? Good. Huh? Hang <laughs> on. Bam. Oh, look behind what? him. Yeah. <laughs> you ruined it. Let me I can get him. Oh, shit. <laughs> we are, you're the warrior. Where you been? He's missed you, Ruben. I know. <laughs> just can't keep my name out of his motherfucking mouth. It's like he can't keep dick out of his mouth. You know what I'm saying? Right? He, he loves you. Oh, my God. Look at that. Who fight who for that shit? <laughs> That's the best thing. That's all epic. motherfucking dick, Jim and Mark, you pieces of shit. Hello. Hey, girlfriend. Hi, Leanne. Hey, for Mama. That's for Lacey. That's for Kaylee. That's for Leanne. That's for Twin Mama. That's for everybody, that motherfucker. He's fucking I look good with today. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, yeah. Mr. Sanchez. You're looking good today. Oh, I look good today. <laughs> good. Mm -hmm. You're feeling good today. Yeah. Find spot that motherfucker out in the world. <laughs> hey, Lacey, how you doing? Good I'm, good I'm actually great. I'm <laughs> glad that you're feeling good today. You look good today. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Lacey. Oh, yes. I want to say hi to Buster and Snooks and whatever and whoever and Lady Luck, everyone that I miss. Sorry. Looky here, looky here. We got a look at this whole panel. Hell yeah. Watch. I heard that Jim's little thing with Lacey H backfired, made people feel feel like the mother in law was a biatch. Yeah. yeah. It um I won't speak on it much because it's kind of like ugh. um Yeah. It you know, it didn't hurt me. Sadly, it did backfire on him, and um, you know, pray pray for uh, my future mother-in-law. Is all I can say. Idaho farmer was like loving on him some Lacey H. I love <laughs> well, it coming in a dollar ninety nine exclusive Ruben on Twitter, Mama. <laughs> Darn it, Phil Chick. Thank you, Rhonda. There you go. Thank you, Rhonda. Yes, thank you, Rhonda. Yeah, I thank like you, Rhonda. Thank, thank you, Rhonda. Is it your birthday? Huh? Is it your birthday? Tomorrow. Manana. Oh, okay. Manana. Oh. Manana. Did you guys see that very good? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can see it good. Oh, good. What happened that, to his chin? <laughs> uh, I think it's a defect from the forever sniffles. Whatever, well, can I put it up over here? She said her commentary is uploading now. 
Oh, B. Um, he he called my boyfriend's mom, and she, for some reason, spoke to a stranger. Told uh, some some stuff she said like half truths, and then some is just not true at all. But mm -hmm. who does that? And I mean, she didn't hurt me, and I'm not embarrassed because I know I know who I am. I know what's what my life is, and it's not that. <laughs> I didn't see it. It's probably a good thing. I didn't I was, see it either. I just heard that she's really there. jealous of Lacey H. Yeah, mom's coming up next, so. Yeah. Well, when you speak to somebody that doesn't like the person, how reliable right. is what their opinion? It's opinion. <coughs> it's not exactly. fact. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I feel bad for her because it really it didn't hurt me. You're right. It hurt her. It hurt her son. And, and then, yeah, that's the whole part about it. It hurt her son and just shows her true colors of jealousy. Mm -hmm. um, if you're a mama's boy and somebody like you take their boy away, they tend to act out like that. And it's horrible. But you know what? Maybe your life are going to be better off. So she isn't meddling in her in your crap. Yep. Yeah, well, she's making a wedge between her son and herself by doing this crap. So, Mama, yeah. Mama future mother-in-law, listen to me closely. Don't talk bad about your son's thing. Don't do that. Don't thing. do it because he's <laughs> going to love that thing no matter what. He loves that thing. So just get over it and just learn to embrace her, love her. If you're a little jealous of her, that's okay. But the better you get along with her, the more you're going to be able to have something to do with that perfect son of yours. So stop. Yep. Yes. You know, we've been <laughs> together for almost nine years. So oh, shut up. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. Yeah, but you I'm know what? he likes that little thing. He likes that <laughs> thing down there. JT, JT said before, guys, that his purpose of doing this is to create hate and discontent in the family. He wants to break up the family. That's Aww. why he does it. But I, I, ain't nobody in my family who can break up. I'm done. You know why he does that? You know why he does that? Because his family's broke up. Yeah, he has um, issues big time from being a child, you know, not being loved as a child. It comes out in anger as you get older. You've never learned to deal with it. So, yeah. It's a lot of projection on his part. Yeah. I oh, think um, the sister was probably the favorite. And then um, because she's the only one that's done well. And um, uh, MT might be the next, you know, in line. But JT, was, he never got no love. With no love left. There, I said it. Because he ain't got no heart. Right. You know, and, and people notice that. Your parents notice that when you're a kid. They can tell if you're, you're going to be empathetic or not. If you, you know, you sense it. You feel it. You know it. You know, That's did why you they take them away. Hit animals in the head or something with a hammer or, you know. Ah, <laughs> uh, no shit. So it Jimmy, was like 20 years ago that he was like banned from, I mean, I found the article and it's all quotations and it's from his hometown um, paper that he was, uh, had been banned anyway, you know, from that high school. And he said, and this is what's funny. This was like 20 years ago. He goes, I was, I was going to sue that coach. But then I found out he lived in a trailer, and I thought, oh, my God, he's been using that line for 20 freaking years. Yeah, there's no change in that. Hmm. You changed my time. <laughs> Still right. got the sniffles. His mascara is fucking, you know. So is a trailer worse than a camper? Just asking for a friend. <laughs> I, I love trailers I love campers I mean I, here's the deal I don't yeah, say anything bad on the bed of a pickup truck camper you gotta get a ladder and climb up in it and then you have to sit on a child's chair just to be able to sit in it if you're over six foot tall 
you know, that's it. It moves down wheels all the time. <laughs> a trailer, at least you can take the wheels off of it and put skirting around it and it looks like a house. And you can disconnect it from your vehicle and still go places. Yeah, exactly. Don't look like a gypsy going around the road with your camper on. For real. I mean, at least Mr. X's can disconnect. <laughs> It can be lifted up on those little legs. Maybe it can't be disconnected. Maybe it's just stabilizers he puts up. That's what, yeah. I think he's got those four porta potties, you know, stabilizing it. <laughs> uh, so he doesn't fall off the toilet. Shoot, right. the campers we had, they had all electronics. You push the button, it, the legs came down and it stabilized itself. Holy crap, Kathy Waters. Oh my gosh. Are y'all seeing this? <gasps> Chevy wow. another fifty dollars. Jim fell. Jim is <laughs> the devil. FJ <laughs> Jim fell. Happy birthday, sweet beautiful lady, twin mama. God, Kathy Waters, thank you so much. Yep. Good gosh, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Happy birthday, twin mama. Well, thank you. I was trying to get that done. I was like, fuck, I need. To get Hopefully, she don't shut down her show real quick. <laughs> no. Oh, thank you so much, Kathy. I appreciate that. FJT. <laughs> wow. I don't know what happened uh, uh, earlier, but you're okay, uh, Lacey? Well, yeah, well, I'm, I'm fine. I mean, my life is still the same, <laughs> but I can't... Um, I already knew. I already knew how how she felt about me. I'm just surprised um, there was a HIPAA violation um, because she does work healthcare. Uh oh, oh shit! Yeah, yeah, and it's it's recorded. So um, I didn't get to hear the whole call, but I was told, you know, told what was said, and I already really knew that she didn't like me. She doesn't like me since she's met me. And she doesn't really know me because I don't really speak around her because I can tell that she thinks I'm unintelligent. Um, so I don't say much because she'll give you that. Like she's aggravated. You're speaking. She wants you to hurry up. And um, she's not really listening. So I don't really talk to her. I tried. I've tried. And I, I just keep my distance. My daughter-in-law. So. Well, thank you. I, I haven't had. I've, this is like the first time I ran into um, a mother-in-law like that, you know. Uh, like my my boyfriend before uh, me and his mom got along really really well. Mm -hmm. I liked him more than I liked his mom. I mean, I might I like his, his mom, mom more than I liked him. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I don't know. I I wish that we could, but I it, I don't think she ru she just she ruined her relationship with her son. She, she betrayed him. Yeah. So and that's what Jim wanted, you know. That'll yeah. hurt you then because, you know, you feel bad for your, your boyfriend. Yeah, I do. I feel bad for him. It doesn't really affect my children because she doesn't really see them. She doesn't want to. So, I mean. Well, if these, you know, I don't mean to sound disrespectful, but if whoever was able to let this idiot uh, any kind of divide, within anybody, you know what I'm saying? That goes to the uh, character of that other person. Yeah, I don't, I know that like somebody would have called me and wanted me to talk about her. I wouldn't have, because I've been put in positions before with people that know her, that one, that's all they wanted to do. And then I just stopped talking to those people because I could tell there was something off about them. Um, and I'm not going to do that to her, so. Right. It's not my place to do that. And I did. I would love because it's better. The more people that you have in your child's life, like family, it mm -hmm. enriches their life to have all these relationships with family. Absolutely. And, and yeah. it's just it's been um, it's been something that's bothered me for a long time. And I just stopped trying. So because I can't force something and if I have to force it, then it's not mm -hmm. worth it. Lacey, let me tell you this. I figure, and this is what's going to happen. In the long run, you and her are going to be good friends. She's going to realize what she done. And it may take that her, you know, son not having anything to do with her. And she, it'll make her wake up. She'll realize it. And y'all will get back together 
and probably be better together than ever before. We, but that's no it. doubt, no doubt. That's the thing we never had. I mean, I've tried to. I kind right. of just uh, was passive with her. Just I just allowed it, and then I I went no contact for a while, and then I distanced myself. Mm -hmm. I had just started speaking to her again. I thought things were getting better, um, and they they just aren't. I apparently and it will. It I don't I don't see it because she doesn't she just doesn't have any respect for me obviously she thinks very poorly of me I think I embarrass her because I didn't go to college and um I don't know I she she lost control over her son because yeah, she it. doesn't belong that I'm not in a relationship with her so she doesn't belong right. in our business right mm -hmm. she doesn't well, like, that. like I said earlier you took her boy away from her. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that's the automatic uh, way she's acting. And it's pretty sad. There's a lot of mothers out there that get jealous of <clears throat> the son's wives or girlfriends or, and it's a shame. Is it, is it something like that? Or is it something like, you know, maybe she thought she had a relationship with him that she never really did? Um, I I think it's more like uh can y'all hear me? Yeah. Yeah, hang on one second, okay? Hang on. Let me uh Joy Perry coming in again. 499 super sticker. Thank you. I appreciate you, Joy. Well, first, hot, no. Yeah, hot spot coming in, five dollar super sticker. Thank you, hot spot. I appreciate hot you spot. very much. Thank y'all. Okay, go ahead, hon. Lacey. Lacey Love. She's in the bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> Snooks. <laughs> She's got the water running. Give her a minute. She'll turn it off. Hey, I got to tell you, Snooks, I love that video yesterday of uh -huh. you and um, uh -huh. the, the homeless lady. <laughs> I haven't even watched it yet. I just uploaded it. I haven't even watched it. So somebody said something like it it made him have motion sickness. And I go, hey, I was shooting for the Blair Witch vibe. You know, I, I guess I hit it. <laughs> no. <laughs> the video you put up yesterday? I guess. I, uh, I, I yeah, it was a little homeless lady. She was yeah. out there laying on a bench and she was covered up like a little cocoon. And I thought is that the one-legged lady from back in the back? And so I went back out there and I got some little muffins that I had. And I was going to give because I thought she's probably hungry. And she had been out there all morning on that bench in that little sleeping bag. And then she had moved whenever I went back out there. And then I guess she had called somebody and somebody was trying to help her. And they was going to take her someplace. So I was glad to see that. But I, I, I gave her some muffins and... That was nice. Yeah. But um, also, Mama, whatever said, uh, her video's ready. Ooh. She has okay. the best videos. Doesn't she? I have a uh, cash app coming in from Roddy Parade. $20. Thank Ooh. you so much, Roddy. Another one coming in from Roddy Parade for 10 bucks. Thank, thank you, girl. Thank you, Roddy. I appreciate that, huh? Yeah, thank you all. Okay, so I just need to go over there and clip it. Is that how I get it? <laughs> Somebody remind yeah. me. I don't know. I'm having like mic issues lately. Uh, it's like it goes in and out. It'll stop working. But yeah, I don't know. I'm not worried about it. Don't. Good. You're a strong woman. I told you that. Very proud of you. And, and what it is, is you uh -huh. can't be intimidated or um scared of somebody that doesn't even care and laughs and jokes about it and i don't i never did she left straight quick i'm sorry <laughs> when i was with my, my ex fiance, um it seemed like her mom liked me better after we split up <laughs> than when we were together <laughs> that's you funny her dad, you know what I mean? Like we we're you know, thick Steve's, but um yeah, it was it was strange. Well, you know what, Ruben? A mother and a daughter's relationship are kind of 
uh, they're so much alike. It's compatible where you argue with them a lot. And there's sometimes I have to say my dog is a bitch and I like my son-in-law and I tell them all the time. <laughs> Here we go. Are y'all ready for this? Are y'all ready? Yep, yep. Okay. Think. Turn oh. it up. Sound. How are you this afternoon? Yes, I watched that plus a fuck of a show. I want to tell you there was about 30 people mm -hmm. I counted in the comments. But there was only like five of them that were really chatting. Some of them just said hello. So that chat didn't move very fast. You know, they're just sad. Keep down on Twin Mamas for a second. And it looks like I wasn't the only one over there. So, of course, the numbers were larger than they really were. Just got a little bit of information in case y'all didn't hear it. Uh, Piers the Lacey H thing wasn't as successful as they thought. Looks like you dropped the ball on that one, Jim. Trying to say that Kaylee's avatar picture looks much better than her. But well, I can think of somebody else who falls into the same category with dreadlocks. Maybe we should make that comparison. And then, of course, your goals in life, as you said today, is to be a hot mom, please. <laughs> really good goals. And you make fun of people over here. Once again, no one answers their friggin' phone. Bob's not going to answer for you, darling. And neither is Ellen Berg. What the hell do they want to talk to you about? You just can't give up the fact that you have lost people. You have lost respect. You have gone too far. It looks like little Italian scallion might have skedaddled off. This is just one of those times she has a hissy fit and then comes back. You'd think she'd have it through a goddamn head right now, the way he treats her. And again, I have to stay out of her business. Even though she feels free to make some nasty comments about people over here. Who the hell she thinks she is? This isn't a one-way street. And then Twin Mama, oh, they have another relative of yours they're going to talk to. And of course, that's just going to bury you. Fuck off, Jim. I'm going to get into some meat and potatoes. I'm going to be like Mr. X and give out all the statistics. So I used my famous calculator today. I look back at the last nine shows that were on Twin Mamas and on Beat Jays. Sorry about all that rustling. I got that damn paper that I took my notes on. And I got it in my hand, and I just keep rustling it all around. So anyways, I took a percentage of views to total subscribers on the channels. And just for to make things easier, I'm going to call it Beak J. Actually, I'll just use BJ versus TM. Show one. Beak J. BJ. 54%. Twin Mama. 210.6%. Show two. Ooh. BJ, 54%. Twin Mama, 140.4%. Show three. BJ, 27.7%. Twin Mama, 140.4%. Show four. BJ, 20 2.5%. Twin Mama, 102.3%. Show 5. BJ, 33.7%. Twin Mama, 196%. Show 6. 29.9%. That's for BJ. And then Twin Mama, 130 Point three three percent. Show seven. BJ forty six point four percent. Twin Mama a hundred twenty five point fourteen percent. Show eight. BJ fifty point six percent. Twin Mama one hundred fifty four point four percent. And show nine. BJ, 
35.6%. And Twin Mama, 168.5%. So shove that up your ass. And I think I already heard this address when I was quickly in Twin Mamas, which I absolutely positively will rewatch. He's trying to say Lee Ann is the reason Twin Mama's going down the drain. She ain't going down the drain, first of all. Y'all going down the drain. Do you see the differences in those percentages? I think y'all just jealous that you don't have the entertainment and the humor that Leanne brings to our shows. Some people, they know how to be funny without being fucking assholes. So all you over there, get your morals together. I don't care how much you actually participate, but if you make one comment and you send one penny to that man, you are just as guilty as he is. One last thing, it took you an hour and a half and you still had $44 left to make on your little crab legs. And you constantly push it and constantly push your Venmo and your cash app and you say you're dry and you point people out and tell them they haven't donated in a while. So no need to make one more frigging comment about anybody else's money they make on their show. They're not on there to try to sleaze people out of their money like you are. And to all you nice, happy, empathetic, and moralistic people out there that I hang out with, I hope your day is wonderful. <laughs> Bravo! Oh, wow. Damn. Damn, she brought the receipt. Jeez. Hey, Noodle, teach your son how to do numbers like that. Damn, she's smart. That's <laughs> Snooks. Mm -mm -mm. I love Snooks. Wow. Good job. Y'all been, been winning. You didn't even know. Got another. I'm sorry, did I cut you off, baby? No, no, no. Okay, I got a, a Rhonda Hauser coming in dollar ninety nine for one gym. There is one hundred and fourteen people who care here now. That's right. You are here now. Her. Thank you, Rhonda. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, we are all over here now, Roddy. Wow, that was something. That was. Yeah, yeah, mic drop. <laughs> Golly. Just Golly, have now mic. Noodle's going to be trying to get Huey over here to show his talents. Yeah, he's just a, he's okay. He's just a kid, wants to learn. She just needs to oh, teach. Oh, I know. Me. She just, she's just trying to, yeah, she, she just she just got to figure out how to market him. And it's not going to be through birthday. So maybe if he does numbers real well, maybe he could do something like that. Because that right. was impressive. <laughs> yes, it was. Okay, lady, look, I'm going to go get it. Y'all go ahead and talk. I'm going to go get another video. Well, Hi, lady, lady I'm going to drop down and uh, let y'all have a lady's day. <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah. I Drop like you, in. Ruben. Yeah. You're a good you, guy. Ruben. Yes. Ruben, thanks for the fun today. That was good. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, you know, I try, you know what I mean? Anything I can do to help y'all out. Ruben, that was ugly. I'm just going to say it. It was <laughs> so <laughs> ugly. And brutal. <laughs> it was. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Ruben. All right. Y'all have a good one. All righty. You too. Oh, I got the wrong lady look on here. Hey, don't it. Yeah, I got to figure out what's going on with my, my mic and headphone issue. That just started happening the other day, the day I came up for the eclipse. Mm -hmm. It's like I've been having problems. I don't know. I don't know if it's StreamYard or it's my phone. It's the end of the world, Lacey. It's the end of the world. Oh, boy. Well, I'm ready. <laughs> well, I, I, I have her. 
Computer yeah. man probably government computer man probably hacked into your mic. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, when he gets found out, he's gonna be in some trouble, don't y'all think? Mm-hmm. Yeah, if he if he does work for the government and is doing that, I would think there's something there. You know, mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm not very bright, so yeah, we're all <laughs> dumb over here. Dumb. <laughs> uh, it, it, they think we're dumb. At least we don't work for the compute uh, for the government and put out people's information. Hello, that's dumb. Well, I refuse to work, Snooks. So. I <laughs> Well, I'm just a damn fucking hairstylist, so there you go. I didn't see the funny. <laughs> well, yeah, aren't all hairstylists crazy or something? Yeah, and nurses and military women. Well, I'm starting to think that some nurses may have problems, but I've seen a pattern amongst them. Well, Not all of them. Gina's a hairstylist, and I'm like, oh, damn. <laughs> That's why he thinks that. I know. Is that there a short are, you look? There are good, like good nurses, and then there's bad nurses. There are good hairstylists, and I've seen some bad work done, you know, on hair. Some people just but they don't usually know. have a good heart. They really they just want to make other people feel good, and it makes them feel good to make other people feel good. And it's kind of the same way. With and you know, how can you be shitty about somebody that serves in the military? I don't care what sex they are. It's like, how can you say that about someone who dedicates their life to, you know, our country? Good Lord. Yeah, they put their life on the line. They totally sacrificed their time with their family or, you know. I know he had a girlfriend that was a hairstylist. He had a girlfriend that was a nurse. And then I he must have had a girlfriend that was in the military because every time he gets burned by a woman, he, he hates whatever their profession was. He told me about the girlfriend that was a hairstylist. Okay. Y'all ready for this one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I think I got the right one. I hope. Oops. Oh, What's shit. I'm muting, so I don't say anything. You need to stop thinking that you're ugly. You are, but stop thinking about it. It's okay. <laughs> you need to stop thinking that you're ugly. Was that the right you one? You are, but stop thinking about it. It's okay. <laughs> you need. <laughs> that was. <laughs> that was so cute. Yes. I hope that was the right one. Was that the right one, Lady Luck? Hello, Lazy Lady. John Yarborough. Hello, hello. Hey, Y'all, Johnny. Johnny Yarbrough, is, are you still doing the birthday party, Johnny? He said he was going to do a birthday party tomorrow at 7. I don't know if that's 7 what time. He's in California, so his 7 is like, what, my 4, four or 3 o'clock? I don't even know. No, is 9. It, it would be my... Seven o'clock would be my nine o'clock, and on the Eastern time, it would be 10 o'clock. Oh, yeah, I'm going uh, the opposite. Oh, my God. Okay, you know, Lacey, you are pretty. (laughs) (laughs) I can't math either. I can't do those. I can't do time zones. Some of us got brains, some of us got looks, you know. I mean, come on. So, make sure that everybody shows up over there. Seven o'clock California time, nine o'clock Oklahoma time. Just and either time? East Coast would be 10 o'clock. So be there, be square, because we're going to have a party. Going to party like yes. 1999. Yeah, Johnny's awesome that he throws birthday parties like that. I love that he does that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's sweet. Not real cool. He's I'm going to drop. I'll talk to you guys later. I'm going to go down and chat. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Okay. So. (laughs) There's a joke. So. What do a baby's butt and JT's head have in common? 
Oh, they're full of shit. <laughs> yeah. They're both bald and weak shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that's uh, my bird in the tree. Or, oh, actually, no, I hear your birds too, Twin Mama. I don't know if y'all can yeah. hear the birds in my trees. I thought I heard it. I wonder, can your bird hear the birds outside at my house? They might. They might be hearing it. They might be talking. Yeah. Yeah, it's just it's enough. It's like, oh God, doing the same thing that he's been doing for how long now? When are you gonna get tired of it? It's I I can't imagine calling up somebody's relative and, and doing that. Yeah. No kidding. You know, like I say, it's it's meant to tear your family apart. So he's a he's a homewrecker. Yeah. Well, and then he, it was like he was holding it over my head. And I was like, I don't give a shit. Play it. I want to hear it. Play it. Yeah, he's holding one over my head now. So I'm just like the same thing. Play it. I don't give a shit. If anybody yeah. believes anything that you throw out there, you know, he throws out there, then so be it. Yeah, it really. It's exaggerated. Is. And it's, uh, it's exaggerated. And then you analyze your opinion and to try to make it look bad. Yeah. <laughs> yes, they have to add in their own, like you know, commentary to it to spin yeah. it even further, or get something that's twenty years old and try to, you know, tell you that's how your life is now. <laughs> I mean, I've seen do that with Bumble and you know, crazy. Yeah, it has no relevance. I mean, people the same when I first met. Alex, but still, even even so, I didn't trap anybody. No. I, mean, I, was, I was really young. I was really young. We were both young. We were like tw barely 21 when we met. Oh, hell yeah. I'm 30 now. Right. right. <laughs> so, is that what you were supposed to do? See, I didn't see it, so I didn't know what he said or what was said. Um, I trapped him. I told him I couldn't get pregnant, so I trapped him, and what else? Um, she told him that she works for the same company my mom gets hospice care. She told him about the brother I had just found. I, she said I recently found out about a brother, but I found out about him in 2017. My dad had another child. I don't speak to, I guess, I don't speak to any of my siblings, but I have, I'm the oldest of seven, and I don't speak to many of them um, just because I don't really talk to my dad and that's a whole nother story um, I, my phone's always on he can call me but he's not allowed so what else did she say oh I spend all his money I, I refuse to work um, she doesn't keep my kids because they're too loud or something um, oh I want her to keep them the whole weekend <laughs> That's a whole nother story. Uh, this is the pregnancy test. They see you're bad. Damn. Wait, oh my fucking. I fixed the, the audio again. My mic keeps <laughs> fucking up. And, and the sound. I didn't even hear Leanne. Oh, I was just telling you the sound. I just said I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Emergency oh, I, something. <laughs> I have psych. Oh, I said issues. this is the emergency test. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have psych issues. I make stuff up for attention, but she couldn't give a, a specific um, scenario of what I did. Um, she told him I had cancer. Told him I had a fucked up life. Um, I don't know what else. Oh, oh the the hospice. Oh yeah, the hospital. That was a clear ho uh, HIPAA violation. Oh, I wreck. I wreck a bunch of cars. I've oh. gotten into. Let's. I'll just put this out there. I've gotten into two wrecks in my life. One when I I was nineteen. My first vehicle. One of the first times I drove alone. 
It was a 2002 mm -hmm. Nissan Maxima. It was gold. It was like, it had all the, you know, for when it was new, it had all this mm -hmm. stuff. But I mean, I got, it was an old car and I wrecked it. And then I wrecked one I, about a year ago. I totaled um, our Ford Fusion. My car was used as a trade-in to get it. Um, but I haven't been wrecking all these vehicles, like she said, which I don't know why she said that, which confuses me. But, I mean, well, shit, I guess anything. Has two wrecks. I've had like five, six, seven. I don't know. I've had a bunch. Yeah, it, you know, it happens. And, and I was really in shock when that, that last wreck happened. It freaked me out. But because I had both my girls with me, we're going to go to yeah. Chuck E. Cheese and the... So then she had um, got a new vehicle. She had uh, the Kia. So she's, you know, she's going through her own things and she needed money. So we were going to buy it from her for $6,000. We paid her $3,500 up front. We were still going to pay her the rest. We never changed it over into our name, like the title over. And it got stolen. So when it got recovered, she wanted it back. And she wanted us to pay for the... Um, the damage. Well, if you're going to keep it, then use the money we gave you to fix it. Cause it was like 1500 in damage. So just use the 3,500 to fix it. Right. That and, but she's saying it was her car. I mean, it wasn't her name, but we were buying it from her cause she needed money. Mm -hmm. So it is what it is. Yeah. They just like to turn shit and spin it. Rhonda Hauser coming in another dollar ninety nine for bird treats for the beautiful blueies. Thank you, Rhonda. Hey, Jim Coddington, it's coming in a dollar ninety nine super sticker. Thank you, Jim. I appreciate you. Thank y'all all so much. Oh, there's another one down here. Gosh, Jim, are you watching this? Johnny Yarbrough hmm. coming in ten dollar super sticker. Thank you, thank you, Johnny Yarbrough. I appreciate you, hun. Get your calculator out. It's crab leg Friday. Oh, yeah. I've been bought crab oh, legs. Oh, it's lobster Friday. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I thought you were buying a spot on the team, Twin Mama. On the what? <laughs> on the uh, arena team. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. I think you... I don't know what team you're playing for. Let me let me check. I think it might be... Um, are you playing for the... Are you playing for the Georgia Force or? <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'll go something close to that. What is that? North, South, East, East Coast? Well, well, I know they're going to be playing a team in Louisiana. Let's see. Are you playing for the um, Louisiana Voodoo? <laughs> I don't know about Voodoo. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. What about the uh, Minnesota Myths? I thought about that one. Yeah. Yeah. They have Philadelphia Soul, but I think you might be playing for the Georgia Force or the Iowa Rampage. Maybe even. Not Iowa. Wichita Regulators. I think that could be the Wichita Regulators. I know that there's a spot open for a kicker. It's not listed. Oh, uh, that might be you. That's the, I bet. Is that Texas or um, Kansas? That's Kansas. Oh, um, could be. Yeah, I think it could be. I'm really thinking though, it's either the um, the Georgia Force or the the Wichita, Kansas team. Wichita lineman. Hmm. Yeah, there's a spot open. There's no li kickers listed. <laughs> yeah, I'll take one of them. Uh, uh, yeah. You gotta, I think you gotta buy in to practice. Are you? I think that's what you're raising money for on every Friday, right? Got enough for that. You're yeah, right. I yeah, think, I think Mama was gonna buy season tickets. Oh, y'all season tickets, come watch me. <laughs> yeah, well, keep I, doing these Fridays when because they are not very good at um paying for your lodging and paying you for your games and for your uh food, right. Mm -hmm. well, I, you know, I like to live close to where I play. Yeah, you don't like to move around and run away from people. Well, yeah, but I can always tell them, you know, that I'm a long ways from home. But in reality, I like to live close to where I play. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. 
Yes, um, every day I drop the link there, hon. I'll drop it again. All you got to do is click on, click on it. Okay. They're okay. also an exhibition okay. show, you know. Think, think about this. Whenever these teams hire a player, they're usually really proud of them. And they stick them out there because they bring people in to watch their team. Whoever Jim's with can't even utilize him. Can't put his name out there. Well, there's two teams in the arena football that are behind on social media, so they don't even have a roster. Then there's a few that just don't have kickers listed. I think there's on the arena AFL, there's 16 teams total, and I believe it's five that don't have a kicker listed. And they may just have like a rover kicker, like because the kicker's not that big. So they just, that person just kind of moves around from, you know what I'm saying? Like have yeah. fillers or temps in. That's what I'm kind of thinking he does. He's like a temp. Yeah. Well, it's right. for younger guys to get discovered. I mean, not for, um, oh. you know. <laughs> well, we're past our prime, I would say. I don't think he's uh, getting discovered for NFL, but who do, what no, do I know? He's been on there too long. If he was going to get discovered, it would have already happened. Now, he is getting discovered by um, other PIs that's looking for him. <laughs> <laughs> You know, other people that screwed him over, you know, read it. There's so much out there on him. I had no idea. Oh, my gosh. Yes, he's bad. Yeah. Oh, so bad. It's... Oh, well, um... I just wanted to share. I thought that it was kind of funny, though, that they couldn't even brag about who their who their star kicker is because he doesn't want anybody to know where he's at. So, I mean, well, it's kind of a new star, issue. Isn't? If he was a star, they'd make him put his name up. But you're a nobody. They don't give a shit. You know? Well, there are two teams that are behind. I think one was revived because they were dead. I think it was. The, I think it's the Georgia team. They had been. Um, That's got to be. Yeah, the, like not Georgia. The team was like dismantled, and now they've brought it back with a new person. Um. So I just I don't know. Yeah. Well, good I'm luck to whatever team he's with, right? Okay, bye. It's supposed bye, to start Nookie. about the 20th or 21st. Bye, Nookie. Yeah, and they just started tryouts in practice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. hmm. The Portland Pole Smokers are looking for a kicker. What and let's see. Who else is looking for What are for those? Because um, I guess there's like a bunch of different... Uh, groups that do this stuff. Yeah. The Dallas Dick Grabbers are holding tryouts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Thank Even you, Jan Fritz. <laughs> Even a monkey could kick a football. Yep. The Baltimore know. ball sacks are looking for a kicker. <laughs> 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 Butter up twin mama's legs. Yeah, butter up twin mama's legs. Hey, fumbler <laughs> and cluckers. <laughs> Thank you, JD Jenny. You're so sweet. Oh, JD Jenny. I'm sorry. Nashville. Oh, nuts. I say hi to JD Jenny. I didn't see her. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, child, Bella. Chabella, Nashville nut suckers. <laughs> Ciao Bella says hi, beautiful in Italian. Ah, Galveston Gooch ticklers. <laughs> the Detroit deadbeat daddies. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, like there's a winner. A, there's a, a casting call. Don't, let's, don't leave this out. There's a casting call for Glory Hope Confessions. <laughs> oh. God. Uh, <laughs> Repent. New, Newport knob gobblers. Uh, hey, cut and shoot. Hey, cut and shoot. That was cute. How are you? Yeah. Kaylee is a beautiful soul and she is smart and efficient. At yes, what she, she is. Doing. 
Yes, she is. And she can be my daughter, too. Hey, he's jealous because she's really good at what the hell she does. And she's going to get up there one day and do these cases. And it's going to be awesome. Yep. She's going to be high up and she's going to bring me up with her. She's going to spit on the rest of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say, what are all you punks doing today, Leanne? <laughs> Oh, I'm the punk now? No, <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I had the babies this morning, and now they went to the dinosaur exhibit. So, Aww. Aww. I know. I got to send you an updated picture, Mama, so you can show the baby baby. He weighs, what is it, 6 pounds, 14 ounces now. Oh, wow, he doubled. doubled. Yeah, grown. Detroit Deadbeat. Wow. Guess who the water girl is. <laughs> <laughs> the trend drifting. No salad tossers are looking for a kicker that likes ranch dressing. <laughs> you are cracking oh me God. up. The Detroit Drip Dicks. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God. Look at all these good names. Oh, my word. Hey, Stumpy. Ruben's going to be, he'll be happy as a crawdad and lived in a swamp, but I'll be sad because I won't have a job. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the fluff nutter. Craven, Craven Moorhead. Moorhead. I love you, Craven Moorhead. <laughs> right yeah. on, Jim Fritz. My birthday is tomorrow. <laughs> oh, oh god buster tampon bay bucking queer <laughs> oh my god baltimore blown out but holes are still through. <laughs> oh, oh Kyrie, baby my birthday's tomorrow we just celebrating early <laughs> oh wow i agree roddy parade and the reason i i want to keep my youngest home with me i mean she has a lung disease and it's been a struggle to get her to take the trikafta if i could get her to take it and not spit most of it out or refuse it i would put her in daycare and i'd go and find i, I have something that i want to do like start doing but um i mean i'm blessed i can have i can stay home with my kids and that doesn't affect me financially i mean I don't want her to get sick constantly about around these kids at daycare and damage her lungs. Hmm. You know, so. Well, yeah, I you miss. want to keep some babies as close to you as you can for as long as you can, you know? They grow fast. Like, I have a seven-year-old. So, I mean, it yeah. feels like it feels like it was yesterday. She was Callie's age. She was. Yeah, I, I agree. A two year old, you know, I have a two year old and a seven year old. She's almost three, but she don't like that medicine. Yeah. And it's, you got to give it a certain way. And I try hiding it and I've tried hiding it in chocolate syrup, I've tried hiding it in ice cream. I cut <laughs> a, a Reese's open and put it in there. She just spits it out. It's got a bitter, a bitter taste. Yeah, that's why my boys, it's, ugh. Hard to get yeah. them to take medicine, but they're getting better at it now. So finally, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Even my seven year old's like, eh, I want it. I guess maybe yeah. it's just certain flavors. They like bubble gum flavors, so I try to get that. But it's like there was a shortage on medicine not long ago on like a over the counter stuff. So during the, the like sick season, but yeah. Oh. Yeah, don't let this disrupt your birthday celebration. I know you're not, but <sighs> he's a dickhead. I know, but I, you know, someday, don't, <laughs> yeah, all them names is kind of, I know I was pretty upset this morning, but I thought, you know what, dude, what, you, you know, he's going to do what he's going to do. And once it's out there, there's no taking it back. And that's just like I told him. If you come at me with another family member talking me uh, about me, I'm going after yours. 
I'm going after your sister. I'm going after your aunt. And I'm going after your aunt and uncle. Ooh, and there mama. Go. I'm not Ooh. playing. I've got nothing to lose. And if he does this, I will go after him. And I'll start at the top and work my way down. And you don't have nothing to lose. He can say what, it, put family, uh, family shit on there and everything else. This is an old routine. Yeah. You know what I mean? It is. It's, I would think he's tired of this. I mean, how is this still fun for him? It's because he doesn't have any other content. He's trying to make content. So he'll watch he hop yours for how long, you know, getting people to come thinking they were going to get to hear it, you know. That's why I didn't go watch it. I didn't yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's old. old. We would old. pay for that. Hell no. Oh, yeah. NF draft picks are coming up. Wait, that's the NFL. My bad. Uh, we know it. <laughs> Cancer Terry fails. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and you're right, Raditha. We all have past and nobody cares. Nobody cares. You know, I don't care about anybody else's past. Do what they've done. Hell no. You know, it's life. You know, some of us get caught, some of us don't. You know, <laughs> come on. Right. The Cleveland cum dumpsters. They're looking for kitcher, kick, well, kitcher, kicker, catcher. Heck yeah. And don't, uh, being a stay at home mom is a blessing. Yeah. I mean, and yes. also, also, you have to say, it's a hard job. I don't care what anybody said. Yes. Taking care of kids uh, is a hard job. And it's not you get work a nine to five. It's 24-7. Yep. Yeah. yeah. It, Plus, you've got to keep your house clean. you got to go to the grocery. All the other stuff involved. Yes. And I rarely have a night uh, where my girls are at uh, relatives. I mean... Right. My mom can't. My mom can't watch them because she's sick. She would. She would love to be able to take them and spend time with them. She can't. And then um, my grandma, which is their great grandma, she is always begging to see them. And yeah, you know how kids are. Like Avery's getting older, so she's like, I don't want to go this weekend. So I'll have to say no. But um, when she does, I'll I'll let her go. Obviously. Right. But it is. It's a thankless job. It's it's a hard job. And then, like, my other half is gone. So, yeah, it's a, a lot on me. Like, I learned how to run a generator by myself last night. Yep. I remember them days. I know. <laughs> Back in the day, we worked opposite shifts. And so we didn't have to have a babysitter. And then there was times where I only worked a couple days a week. But he was constantly out of town working and i did have the help of my mom um and my parents but i felt bad that they had to take the days that the babysit but it was it's a hard life when you're doing a lot of it by yourself and oh and yeah that's, they are making the money and that's that i really was thankful for him to do that good man do that and appreciates um taking care of the kids and keeping the house and all that up and the bills and the grocery and everything else. It's, it's a 24 seven job. Yeah. It's traditional. It's a traditional role. I mean, but um, I'm doing, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. I, I it's not, I'm not dumping my kids off and not doing what I'm supposed right. to do. So Crystal, yeah, um, I love your, uh, I love your Aunt Dolly and Uncle Kevin. They are, they are nice people. Yep. Yeah, um, I'm right there with you, Lacey H. I mean, and Leanne, that is a hard job. I yeah. Must, you know, that, they do, the ones that care, they go out and work, and they want you to be able to stay home and take care of their children, to raise their children to be good people, you know, um, to fit into society and to um, help their communities, you know, teach them the right things to do. You know, in other countries, they get way longer um, maternity leave and 
or, you know, they get way longer with their baby. And even some men also get it to be with the family unit and bond. It's important. Well, in America, it's like you get six weeks and you go, you know, as soon as you're done, like healing, you got to go back yes. And, yes. and leave that baby. And a lot of people can't afford to not have two incomes. I mean, especially now. Yeah, Gary is busy. He he stays busy selling cars. Yeah. Sorry. I'm having two cars. conversations going on. <laughs> if yeah, Chris, if the um yeah, his fan base is dwindling because if he was making money and had the five hundred people he says he does in OTT, he would not need to be on YouTube. You wouldn't see him. You know? Yeah, yeah, having to rake in new people that don't really know what he's about and yeah. like um telling people to go to that website on that other channel and and sign up uh oh lord cuz they can see all your information. They may not be able to see your credit card, but they can see your name and everything. Cut and shoot. We like trashy sluts over here. Yeah, we're all trashy. We're all white yeah. trash sluts. Yeah. We live in trailer yeah. houses and we don't work. Apparently the trailer house I live in's got a big hole in the back. <laughs> so, oh yeah. Yeah, got it was rough for the winter. Yeah. It was rough for the winter. <laughs> Put a blanket over it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, he's taking all these people's benefits, but he was telling me I need to get on benefits. I'm like, I don't I uh, don't qualify. He's like, you need to get on benefits and basically telling me to cheat the system. Uh, nope, I'm not doing it. Sounds like he knows from yeah. experience. I'm, we're not doing that because, okay, you want him to get a P.O. box and me say I live at this address and don't claim him and I claim the kids and get. No, no. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's that's illegal. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So then what? He knows that I'm doing that? And then what? He can hold that over my head? No. Exactly. Because you got to pay yeah, that money back. Yeah, taking people, you know, especially people who've got kids. I think all of them deserve to have food stamps or assistance or whatever the case may be. My opinion. Yeah. And someone like me doing that is taking away from someone who needs it and making it harder for people to get it. You know? Yeah. Right. Well, Craven Warhead, if you don't want to stay behind the Waffle House, you can come <laughs> over here with me. I'm living under the bridge next to um, McDonald's. We got good Wi-Fi. Yes, uh, you might be able to park next to Shack Lady. <laughs> she got a she got a bridge too. She under a bridge too. Oh, I saw her in Arkansas chat. She was ha I was having fun with her the other day. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was funny. Well, if anybody um got stuff y'all need to go do today, I guess we can get out of here. Been on three hours and eight minutes. Yeah, I should be doing something right now. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I get some stuff done before the boys get home and go get yeah. some groceries. Yeah, I got to go spend all kind of money. Well, Craven, I offered you to come stay under my bridge with me, you know. <laughs> we can share. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Fast Eddie. That was Shack Lady 100%. <laughs> uh, Shit. This is a test. This is the emergency test. broadcast system. <laughs> <laughs> if you've received this test in error, please report to <laughs> YouTube. Feeble, that's <laughs> not nice. <laughs> Call me Mrs. Trashy Slut. <laughs> yep. All right, guys. Well, thanks, Mama. Well, thank you. Um, Have a good day.
Yeah. Everybody, make sure you go to um, what's that Pumble Nut guy? Y'all know him? A punk. Oh yeah. Make sure you yep. go see him tonight. He's coming on, and then I'll see y'all tomorrow over on Johnny's. Everybody, yes. be there for the birthday party. Thank you, Twin Mama. Bye. You bet, hon. Thank you. Thank you. All right, everybody. I will see y'all tonight on the fumble. On the fumble. And I'll be there or be square. Okay? Thank all y'all so very much for all the um, super stickers, super chats, cash apps. I'm, look here, make sure I don't miss anybody. Oh, I did miss somebody. Cash app coming in. Benny B, you were sent $10. Thank you, Benny. I appreciate that very much, hon. Um, the, thank everybody for all the cash apps. Um, Venmos. PayPal's. Um, let's see. What is the other one? Cash app, Venmo, PayPal. Super sticker, super chat. Thank all y'all so much. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. I came in the bad attitude, peeling down, and y'all lifted me up. And for that, I appreciate it that very much. All right, guys. I'll see y'all later. Love you. Love you a long time. Goodbye, past daddy. Indiana. Laying pop. Uh-oh. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you, laying pop. Miss Canada, American Honey. Thank you, JD Jenny. Um, Indiana, B. Miss Canada, Mountain Girl, Benny B. There she is. Fast Daddy, American Honey, Lady Luck. Good night, my fellow trashy hoes. <laughs> Good night, Lady. Uh, Raditha. Um, did I already say JD Jenny? Roddy Parade. Arkansas, hello. Edie Ruth, hello. Happy birthday. Thank you. Christy Malazzo, thank you, hon. Love you, too. Thank you, laying the pop. Luckers, thank you, hon. Kathy Waters, thank you so much. I appreciate y'all so much. Y'all have really lifted my spirits. Thank y'all. Cut and shoot. See you later. Crystal Ann B. Bumble for president. <laughs> Raven Moorhead. See you over here at the at the bridge, buddy. <laughs> Jan Fritz. Buster Bradimus. Well, there's a lot of y'all in here today. Thank y'all for coming. I appreciate all of you. And if I missed anybody, I am so sorry. There's Feeble. That was a good video, lady. <laughs> that was so cute. Whatever. That was a, a good video, too. Oh, that was awesome. Golly. She knows him numbers. Edie Ruth, your cave in your basement. That's too cool. Is it a bat cave? <laughs> Jan Fritz. I hope I got everybody. Roddy Parade. Radita. Stump it. Wow, there's a bunch of y'all today. I appreciate y'all coming in. Lacey H. Stumpy already said Stumpy. Dallas Donkey Dicks. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see y'all later, Kyrie. Thank you. Um, yes, tomorrow, Kyrie. Um, Johnny's going to do a birthday party on his show. All right, guys, I'll catch you all later. Ruben Sanchez. I keep saying that, and then I see somebody else I missed. <laughs> Looking good today, Christine Malazzo.
classy coat. Goodness, there's bunches. Going to potty it up. Bye, y'all. Thank all y'all so much. Bye, whatever. Later, Gators. Classic coat. 